Hey! Oh. Woo! <laughs> Hello everyone, good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, wherever you are, and welcome to the Fourth Culture. It is Wednesday, so it's time for Mayhem. So we can see the mayhem. Journey to the left. <laughs> Journey. Journey. <laughs> Ooh, that, that's yeah. so cute. There we go. And this week, anyhow, point. in our continued exploration, uh, terribly so of Chinese <laughs> mythology and culture, we are continuing with part two of two of Journey to the West. And our intrepid party, uh, let's let's have them introduce themselves, starting with the master, the leader, the whole reason why this party is on this journey. It's Lisa. Tell us about your character. Hi, I play Tripitaka, who is the uh, who is a monk, uh, and the reason this group is going on this quest to go to the west to get some uh, scriptures. <laughs> I tend to get into trouble, which you will see. <laughs> Dropping bombs and spitting rhymes, Lisa. <laughs> and we move on to Ramji, who's playing Monkey. Ah, Monkey. Uh, so this is a <laughs> throwback to when I was in the uh, uh, a, a young boy and watching the Japanese version of Monkey, which is what they had in the BBC, which was dubbed. But I am playing Sun Wukong, who is uh, the Monkey King, um, also known as... Um, that monkey, oi, fucking monkey, hey, monkey face, <laughs> and various other things along that line. But in fact, he is a noble Dharma protector and a protector of Tripitaka against Tripitaka's wishes in most cases. <laughs> He's still fighting and moving on. <laughs> it's Hans. <laughs> 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 oh, very good. <laughs> I'll just translate that. Hello, I am a noble prince of the Southern Seas who has been transformed into the form of a horse for breaking a precious artifact. Is that right, Bosi? <laughs> yes. And now I serve my noble master, Tripitaka, by being his steed. <laughs> I am able to revert to my true form when he is in danger, just like I did in the previous episode. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not sure when I can do that for sure. Um, anything else to add? Huh? The weirdest sounding horse ever. Um, <laughs> no, nothing to add. <laughs> I'm the horse. <laughs> yes, you are. Hans. Yes, you are. <laughs> and moving on to Sheena. Hello! Hi, I play Sandy, who is the third um, disciple of Tripitaka. He used to be a... Um, good question. He used to be a small river god, and then he broke something by accident. Some say it was in a fit of anger, some say it was by accident, but yeah, I broke something. <laughs> question, and then, uh, question. Yes? A small river god, or a small river god? <laughs> <laughs> like, were you the god of a small river, or were you a small... <laughs> God of the Amazon, like a small god of a big river. <laughs> like big fish, little pond? Little Excellent fish, pond. question. Mm. I mm -hmm. am not entirely certain. Ah. My mm. river knowledge actually not that high. <laughs> 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 but Sorry. yeah, there you go. So, so uh, yes, so so Sandy is a bugbear in this particular game. And uh, yeah, he is a nice, good-natured, lawful, good character type person. <clears throat> kind of uh, not, not too, um, how shall we put it, bright. But you know, well meaning. <laughs> Thank you. And last but not least, Joe. Oh. Okay. So just a bit of context for this uh for this whole campaign. So what happened is that uh we are actually traveling through the minds of uh the characters that you see in brackets next to our character names. So for example, uh, in this particular game I'm playing Pixie, but for the campaign I'm playing Ooh, which is a coal. Arakokra. Arakokra. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, but, but, but of course, uh, it, we are in the mind of Edward, who is usually a, ho uh, a horse, a centaur called Hunta. So anyway, that's why we're here. And, and for some reason, he imagines us as these characters. And I'm playing Pigsy Zi, Ba Jie. He is uh, the greedy, uh, gluttonous, lustful, uh, but ultimately pretty strong and powerful uh, pig-faced embodied Disciple of Tripitaka. So that's it. There we go. And when we last left our intrepid 
party journeying to the west, they had arrived at a town led there by a group of malnourished miscreants who had attempted to rob them with terrible equipment. And mm-hmm. they had discovered, uh, and I think this will be much more appropriate for Ramji to explain. Ramji, what had you all discovered at the village? Well, previously on Journey to the Left, we discovered as we entered this village full of demons and miscreants that actually they weren't demons and miscreants after all. In fact, it turns out that they were simply trying to avoid a regular visit from Princess Iron Fan. Hmm, who's Princess Iron Fan, I hear you say? Well, Princess Iron Fan is a well-known, powerful visitor who comes to this region with her Iron Fan. Using her Iron Fan, she is able to blow gusts of wind across this fiery land and, in theory, put out the flames, but also fan the flames, potentially towards this village. So she has been extorting these poor villagers in exchange for them bringing all kinds of treasure. Back to you, Ed. <laughs> and so, thank you for that recap. For all whatever that was. <laughs> <laughs> all of you are inside the town square, speaking to the... Let me bring up the map. All of you are in the town square, right here on the bottom, right next to Sheena. Uh, that, where that square structure is, actually, is the wagon. Hold on. I mean, there's a wagon behind Sheena's head. Yeah, just behind, yeah, right next to Sheena's head. If you sit upright, it's perfectly fine, actually. And you can see that people are bringing their wares, their goods, and it's being stacked onto the wagon. Uh, The headman of the village, uh, Li Li Ming, Li Li Ming, yes, Li Ming has told you that, also known as Leon, has told you all that uh, Princess Ayakan is coming tomorrow to pick up the tribute. And, uh, it's actually actually getting quite late. It's about nine in the evening and you can see the glow of the volcanoes in the distance. Uh, but the village is still a, a real buzz of activity. And this point, I would like any of you uh, who would happen to be watching uh, the headman who is leaning uh, to make a perception check. So if you think you would have been looking at him, examining him, uh, make a perception roll. Well, now that you've said that... <laughs> so I mean, Monkey my... is going to be thoroughly convinced that there's just demons waiting to eat everybody. And <laughs> so so we'll be paranoid about this, but also yeah. is probably also just kind of annoyed. And so it's just going to be like, hmm, okay, but we need to take this fan from Princess Iron Fan. Um, so, where are we? We're we're in the 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 wagon. No, you're standing beside the wagon. But very quickly, those of you who make the perception checks, let me know your results. I want to check because Pixie is just in general. He's bored and okay. he's looking for babes. Let me let me know your role, and I'll let you know what you see. Wee! I'm just admiring the colors of the village. <laughs> There's a lot of people running around and doing oh, things, hello. people shouting. Hello. It's, it's a hive of activity. Uh, Pixie is like, yeah. Does she have any food? Okay, nothing. A- anybody 21. else made, made the room? Sorry? 21. 21. <laughs> okay. A- anybody else made the room? Yes, I, I, ro- I rolled a nine. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, screensaver mode. Monkey, you are quite distracted by your absolute anger at your old acquaintance, uh, <laughs> the, de- the bull demon king and his wife, Princess Iron Fan. Oh, they're just going to come here and make a mess of everything? Especially, <laughs> you remember your last encounter with their child, the red boy. Oh, he red boy! The biggest brat in all the celestial heavens <laughs> and all the nine hells. Mm. Yes. Okay. You hate the red boy. You hate him so much. He's such a brat. Pixie, yeah. you notice that Li Ming, under his peasant robes, you notice that he's wearing armor. He's wearing armor? Right. Pixie, you notice this. And the armor is not cheap armor. It looks like expensive 
play put together chain. Ah, okay. All right. Uh, and we are surrounded by people running around here. Yeah? Uh, you, you, peasants. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. Eh, I uh, I go to my eldest brother who is looking very angry. Ah, uh, my. Possession, possession. So uh, I had a look. Uh, I had a look uh, at the uh, the chief of person. So I am uh, determined he is uh, not a hot babe. But I also <laughs> determined that uh, he is uh, wearing chain mail under uh, his clothes. Uh, in the middle of the night, he say a uh, princess iron fan will only be here tomorrow. So why is he wearing armor? Do you think that perhaps under his armor? He's concealing the fact that he's a hot babe. <laughs> uh, little brother, I was with you until the last <laughs> bit of that sentence. I am not a little brother. I am second brother. Yes. Little brother is over there. Littlest brother is over there. Huh? Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yes, uh, we should tell uh, uh, Sifu uh, and see if... Um, uh, I uh, can tell you what, what Sifu is going to say. Oh, it's all <laughs> fine. Don't worry. Everything's going to yeah. be okay. I think we it... should take matters into oh. our own hands just in case. Don't he's kidnap a hot and babe. kill him because it will be a bad thing to do. I, I, would... I, I, I don't want to kill anyone, but I want to find out if he's a hot babe. So, Song, don't make fun of Sifu. I mean, you know, he's very nice. It's not nice Ooh, for you to make fun. Incredibly nice. Like that. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's a monk. He hasn't traveled out of the city that much before. So, you know, <gasps> some things, it just, he never suspects things. Okay. Just, uh, you are right, littlest brother. Mm. That is a very noble and correct speech. Mm. But it does not help when he does not learn. Okay. I am going to take the things into <sighs> my own hands. Okay. Yes. Uh, Let us go confront him. Xiaoti. Oh. Uh, uh your disciples are engaged in furious conversation and you notice this. And they're obviously not telling you, but they all look quite animated. Do you do anything, Tripitaka? <laughs> yes, I walk over. Like oh. <laughs> 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 ah, hey. <laughs> oh, funny, funny joke. Funny joke. <laughs> Hello. What are y'all talking about? Oh, uh, nothing. I uh monkey make a deception roll. <laughs> <laughs> that is not what monkey is. Kick yeah. yeah. make an insight check. <laughs> what did you monkey not do a deception? <laughs> oh no, I rolled a four. And I rolled an 18. So <laughs> 20 total for me. <laughs> what it's oh but I'm plus <laughs> nine. It's, it's still 20, can be so it's but it's still yeah, yeah. No. Yeah, you totally believe that monkey. It it was nothing. I, I, oh. I look at Dasushun with like concern on my face. Very <laughs> obvious concern. Like, Is anything wrong, Sandy? Oh, uh, what? Uh, <laughs> like, stairs between the two, not sure we who are, to answer to. We are just making sure of your safety. Which I'm very grateful for. And <laughs> something has been brought to my attention by second brother. Ah. And we are just going to investigate it. Yes. Nothing to bring you away from your contemplations. Yes. As yet. Please uh, contemplate. Yeah. Contemplate away. Yes. Oh, yes. It's because we haven't investigated, so we don't know what to tell you. Yes. Exactly. <laughs> okay. I trust you. You're a good team. I'm very grateful. <laughs> uh, so I look forward to seeing what you find out. Thank you for your trust, Master. Yeah, <laughs> maybe like a rare flower or a beautiful bird. Or oh, I, I'm really looking forward to, to hearing what you see. Mm. Yes, it's probably <laughs> the best of all people. Or the babe. <laughs> okay, so monkey, pixie, Sandy, what are you all going to do? Okay, I want to go and because uh, pixie is very good at in intimidation. Mm -hmm. I want to go and intimidate this guy. Okay. Uh, do you, do you tell your I fellow disciples that you're going to do over that? Okay. intimidatingly and hope they infer what I'm about to do. All of you see Pixie striding up to the hitman who is very busy and holding a clipboard and trying to coordinate everything. And he sees Pixie striding up to, uh, yes, anything else I can help you with? What is your name again? 
Oh, Le- Leon. Leon. Uh, yes, some so, people call me that. So, Leon, uh, you come here. I have an important thing to ask you. Uh, can you make, make this quick? I really can. Can, very quick, if you cooperate. He hands off his clipboard uh, to his major domo. I'm going to take a away. peek at the clipboard as well. Uh, the clipboard is just full of uh, numbers and entries. Uh, it's, it's a record of who has contributed what. Oh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to bring him he, over. He steps up. He steps up. Yes, yes. Please. I bring him over to my brothers. Okay. Right. Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, I put my trotter on, the, <laughs> <laughs> on his shoulder. You, you have fingers. You have, have fingers. fingers <laughs> on his shoulder. <laughs> you you have fingers have a and trotters. Face. No, no, I mean, okay. just kind of... <laughs> you, you just have the pig's features. And uh, yeah, and then I kind of like, I put my feet, uh, hands on his shoulder and I sort of like, wah, 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 wah. Wow, you are certainly uh, very firm uh, for uh, somebody uh, who work in the fields, you know, and don't do exercise, uh, go into battle. Uh, but don't tell me, you almost feel like you are wearing armor under your clothes. But why would that be the case when it is the middle of the night when you have nothing to fear? Yolo, yolo. I'm squeezing him just a little bit hard. Slowly reaches for your hand and pushes it away. Should I roll intimidate or no? Uh, you can roll intimidate, yes. Okay. Wah, wah, wah. Can I give him, give, give her advantage with my yellow yellow I'm standing there looking you know furry and very intimidating as well that's fine yeah you may have advantage okay, okay. <laughs> yolo yolo <laughs> intimidating what, you sorry man this is all freaking bad uh 12 okay. <laughs> oh no 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 I'm sorry 14 14 sure. no the, no 12 the, <laughs> sorry 12 Li Ming reaches up his hand and firmly pushes your hand away. oh and then he takes a step back Oh, I recognize that you are here in my village and you all have your reasons for being here. I've been very polite in not asking you all why you are here and what your business here is. Actually, you did. You asked last week. We already <laughs> told you. Oh, yeah, well, you know, I mean, heading to the west. It's, west. it's none of my business that you want to stay here and what you want to do. But you so, asked anyway. So we asked you, as it's none of our business, why you're wearing armor. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no. yeah no. <laughs> I figure it's fair enough. It's none of my business, none of your business, but we've already exchanged those questions. If Come to see to answer. If there is a danger, you must tell us as guests to the village. We're trying to protect you. Are you? This is your first time here. Have any of you ever met Princess Iron Fan and her minions? Uh. Look, we all. I, I look at monkey. Ah, uh, hmm. I have a history. Let's say. Okay. What do you know about her? I mean, hmm. and there's a point where you just look, see monkey kind of drifts away for a moment, <laughs> and then <laughs> and comes back and goes, Ah, yes. Well, I know her husband. I know him, and I know her, and then, of course. I know that wretched child they have. Okay. Have you met them recently? I mean, what is recent? I've been in the mountain for 3,000 years. So, you gods and demigods come about here while us mortals struggle. Hold on, mister. It's gods, not demigods. (laughs) He, He waves his hand. We try our best to do what we can to manage your demands and your desires but it's as if we are nothing to you like we are ants so now you come into our village and then you ask me why I'm wearing armor when I'm about to meet Princess Iron Fan and her minions who can arrive anytime they want but your armor to your point will do nothing to protect you in fact, uh, it's a fire karma. It will serve as a kind of oven uh, to cure from the inside out. You really don't know anything about Princess Iron Fan. No, no, you say, you say, you must say. 
besides her. She will come whenever she likes, anytime oh. after midnight. Because that will be and... tomorrow. And she will come with her minions. And she will take whatever she wants. Hopefully, he points to the wagon. Hopefully, that will get her attention. Otherwise, she will take other things also. Like your army? She... <laughs> like our children. <gasps> no! Oh. What does she do to the children? Does she adopt them and give them a better life? <laughs> no. Does she eat them? Not really, but they become oh. her servants. Oh, so all the millions are your children from the village. I yes. mean, child labor is not great, lah, but you know, considering that the village has economic problems, perhaps that is the way f- for them to move upwards in the world. <laughs> but then they become mindless servants of us, no longer <gasps> our children. Oh, oh, no. So, oh. she doesn't care what happens to her millions. They are just here to grab and take whatever they want, whatever she wants. We are allowed to defend ourselves against her millions. Is Tripitaka against- here? Uh, Tripitaka is a few steps away, a, a little distracted. Tripitaka, you're a little distracted by uh, a couple of children who are asking you questions, but you do overhear what's being said. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I thought you couldn't hear. You, you do overhear what's being said. Okay. And he continues by saying, So, why I'm wearing armor is because in about three hours' time, there is a very real possibility that we will have to defend ourselves and our families. Okay, okay. okay, okay. Oh, so so, oh, so, so. I, I know we have a job, but 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 it sounds terrible. We should help, right? Yeah, you all do whatever you want. He turns. I I I I need to make this work, and he he storms away back to the towards the wagon. And you see that people are starting to actually mount up little lanterns and brightly colored decorations on it to make it look as fancy as possible. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Master, and uh, I'm very respectful. Ta Shun Xiong, Xiao Ti, Boss, what do you think we should do? We must help the children. Help the children? Yeah. Even the I... mindless ones or the, the village still haven't migrated yet. But All the children. So we cannot because the mindless ones will attack the ones in the village. Only if you command them to, Ma. So I don't know. Ta Su Xiong, you say you know her, right? Maybe we can talk to her. <laughs> why are you laughing? Why are you laugh? Why are you laughing? I mean, diplomacy is always a good option. <laughs> it will end up in a fight, regardless. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Tell you what, uh, uh, we, we can try and uh, intercept. Uh, okay, then maybe uh, maybe the hot babes in the village will like will, will be impressed. Igzy, be careful. Do not attempt to seduce Princess Iron Fan. It will only go one way. Which is where? Roasted pork. Mm, bacon <laughs> sandwich. I'm, I am not really a pig. Uh. Okay, anyway. She not get inspiration. <laughs> no. Very racist of you. Anyway. Anyway. I, 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 I don't know. I don't care what you say. I'm, I'm very charming. I used to be a general of the, of the heavenly army. It is so, not about your charm, second brother. It is about the fact that she's a psychopath. I it's okay. I don't discriminate. It's fine. <laughs> she's so, married already to a to a bull. Oh, I mean, I know not farm your animals, but it's not the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, I uh, you know what? I I will help the village. I want to meet this princess. I had been so uh I uh I know uh. Then I sort of like, ring. I use my at will. I can transform myself into another humanoid. I right. become the head man of the village. Oh. Oh. And so before your eyes, uh, in a blink, because Pixie is capable of 
the, uh, is a master of 36 transformations. Wow. <laughs> One of them happens to be <laughs> the headman of the village. What's that? Shen Liu Bian. Uh, he pins into the Li Ming, Li, Li Ming the uh, headman of the village. He looks like perfect, identical copy, except for the fact that when Pixie speaks, you hear, I am so now I am the headman of the village. <laughs> So, I will be the first person to intercept this hot princess. Oh, Sipu, this is going to be fun. Chupitaka, now you, you've heard all this. Uh, after a while, you, your ears perked up and then you decided to listen in. And you, you've led your horse over to your disciples, knowing that they... They're going to be trying something. And you see Pixie has transformed himself. Shufu, look! <laughs> Pixie uh, looks like the hitman. He's very good. <laughs> oh, that is very good. But why? Oh, why? Uh? It's so... Uh, because you heard just now Princess Iron Fan, you know, mm-hmm. will hold the village accountable if she thinks the treasure is not enough. So, I will be the hitman and I will intercept her first. And I will impress her with my authority. Now, second brother, at no point in this conversation must you mention the affair of the Bull Demon King with Princess Jadeface. That is 100% nothing that should be mentioned. Oh. It is a delicate subject for Princess Iron Fan. Oh. She, so please, I recommend you, for the sake of the diplomacy and oh. the various conversation that we wish to have in peace oh. with Princess Iron Fan, oh. not to mention the very torrid affair oh. that the Bull Demon King had with Princess Jade Face. Oh, gets around, man. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. I mean, uh, you know, uh, when women feel vulnerable, you know, they <laughs> tend to find other shoulders to lean on. I mean, I won't bring it up, you know, but uh, if it comes up in conversation... Uh, no, you must avoid it. You must speak correctly and avoid these the- subjects of marital fidelity and otherwise. Who you should call- not bring up this very close to home personal issue that she has with her husband. Okay, okay, okay. You notice a couple of villagers uh, pointing at Pixie and waving at the actual headman and pointing at Pixie. <gasps> the headman is now looking in your direction. Okay, so uh, since uh, you mentioned uh, that uh, you feel that the gods and the demigods are just playing havoc with your life, so I have decided uh, to take uh, one for the team. So uh, I will guard the treasure on your behalf. No, you are going to make things worse. We're going to do that regardless. <laughs> uh, look, you're outsiders. Can you please just leave us alone? And, no, uh, we have to protect the it. children. Yes. People have said so. All the children, not just yours. Is All there... children must be protected from Princess Iron. I mean, you know, every year you have to give tribute, uh, and every year the tribute becomes less. It's a sooner or later thing that the tribute will not be enough, and then she will just leave you all to die. We need to do something about it, once and for all. Yeah. I don't know, I heard she's quite a hot chick. If you all fail, what, what do you think will happen to us? We will not fail! We will not... You see... He is the most sought after celibate man <laughs> in the East. Okay. <laughs> Joe Gain's version. <laughs> okay. That is uh, the most popular monkey. Uh, all monkey defer to him. This is uh, a river god. Uh, now become a very powerful. Got a lot of facial hair for Asian person. <laughs> so the potency and this is a horse so <laughs> the, horse, the horse is chewing some grass still <laughs> we will help you okay if you want that we can uh, be undercover first okay i don't have to be uh, i don't have to be uh, one, one the hate man i can be a small child since uh, she likes small child okay uh-huh. the one i can be a small child okay uh pixie turns himself into the nearest small child <laughs> He sees like a really chubby, uh, rosy cheek. Oh, you're so cute. If, actually, if you all want to be of use, there is inside our village uh, temple 
if we gather all of the children inside there, then maybe you can help us defend that the temple against the minions and then let us deal with Princess Ayn Fen. Mm. Sounds like a plan. I mean, you know, if they come for the children, we will be there to protect the children. Yeah, because if you, he points at Pixie, if you are going to be talking nonsense to her and then you're not here anymore after tomorrow, it's us that have to bear the consequences of what you said. Okay. Uh, just remember, don't mention the very torrid affair of her husband, <coughs> Princess Jade Face. Why would I mention something like that? Exactly. Don't. <laughs> it would make her very angry. Indeed. Mm. That's why you must not mention it. Then she would start breaking things and then start taking whatever she wants instead of what we offer her. Which would be terrible. Yeah, so I would never say that. That is a very practical solution you've come up with. Okay, <laughs> I think so, to say. okay so you're going to protect the children at the village, huh? uh, temple. Okay, we can do that. You've got two hours. You all do whatever you need to do. I'll be here. And he walks away. Okay. Uh, you see that he's, as he walks away, he gives instructions. And uh, a group of, you count about 12 men dressed in black emerge uh, from various parts. Uh, there's a sort of signal that he gives. A group of 12 men, and you assume they're men because they're all masked. They're just like ninjas, basically. Oh. And each, all of them are heavily armed. Uh, they come to him at the center of the village and he's giving them instructions. And he points at your group and then after talking to them, uh, they melt back into the shadows. Then he walks back to you. Okay, so my men will now be defending the temple with you. I will be here along with my assistants with the princess. I hope you all know what you're doing. How far away is the temple? The temple is just on the far side. So uh, next to Ramji's head. Uh, on the next to Ramji's right head. side of Ramji's head. Yeah. So, 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 yes. So you see that tree and there's a, there's a wagon next to it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that assumes that's the car park. And mm -hmm. off the map is the temple. Ooh. Yeah. Just Body. off the map past Ramji. Oh, so over here. Yeah, the temple is a 100 feet by 50 feet structure. So, uh, as we kind of wander over there, uh, I am going to become tiny, very, very small. And then I am going to misty step into the clouds mm -hmm. and sure. find myself a little cloud. Sure. And then my tiny, tiny cloud is going to come and hover over the where these people are, to have a little spy on them. Uh, so, because all of you have uh, are adventurers, right, and your superior heroes, uh, you notice that the uh, 10 to 12 men, you're not too sure, they're all dressed in black. Uh, the 10 to 12 ninjas are all situated around the temple. It's all in a circle. Oh. And they're hiding in the structures, they're hiding, uh, some of them are hiding behind boxes, crates, one of them is in the tree even. Okay. And they, you see that some of them are armed with crossbows, some of them are armed with slings, and some even with uh, throwing stars and knives. Uh, but you also notice that, remember the three kids that let you here? Yeah. One of them is with the three kids, speaking with them. Oh. Can Ramji hear? Because I don't think we can. Oh, uh, listen, are, we, are we all close to that? Yes. Uh, Ramji's still with you all. Uh, yes, so Monkey's around. still with you all. You, you all have seen Monkey do this before. Hmm. Monkey's basically the size of a fly right now. But you know it's monkey because it's monkey on a cloud just the size of a fly. Okay. Uh, Any <laughs> uh, You see also that the children are being brought out from their various hiding places by their parents and they're being brought towards the temple. 
Okay, okay. You see, you see children being brought, like being covered with large pieces of canvas. It be, like somebody lifted a box and a couple of children climbed down. Things like that. And they're being all being led towards the temple. Okay. Uh, I'm going to try and uh, eavesdrop on what the, the ninja is saying to the kids. Yeah, okay. I want to do that too. Okay. I, don't, I will make you roll. If you walk close enough, I'm just going to assume you get closer and you hear uh, the ninja saying, whispering to them, look, I've told the three of you again and again, you're not old enough to be part of us yet. It's our job to gather the tribute. It's our job to protect the village. Maybe in three or four years' time, it will be your turn. But for now, get inside the temple and just stay there and keep your heads down. Uh, I hurry over and I gesture to the kids. Yes, children, come and, and stay stay with us. We'll keep you safe. Yes, yes, follow the monk. Thank you. He, he, he bows to you, his hands crossed. Thank you, You're good welcome. master. Good luck. Tribitaka, there's something about this man that makes you feel a little uneasy. Oh? Hmm. You, Tribitaka, you have a terrible sense of uh, telling good from evil when it comes to demons. But with humans, you have a good sense for good and evil. And this person has darkness in his heart. Yeah. Uh, do I... Can I co- communicate with monkey? Uh, yes, monkey's nearby. You, you know... I mean, if you can see a fly, you can see monkey. Okay. Uh, hey, monkey. Hello. <laughs> 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 <Hi. laughs> <laughs> hey monkey, um, can you follow that 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 so- soldier? Soldier. <laughs> Which one? The 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 one that was just talking to the children. I felt there's evil in his heart, and I am worried that he might follow the dark path and and cause some destruction. Can you follow him and 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 see that nothing nothing bad happens? Do you remember when I said to you when we came to this village? that they're all going to be demons and that at the end of it all, one of them will kidnap you. It's probably I mean, this guy. He, he might not be a demon. He just might be a lost soul, you know? Like, maybe he has really bad past and, and, and he doesn't know right from wrong. We could teach him later, but just make sure now he doesn't hurt anyone, you know, down this hurtful, painful path that I'm sure he has gone down already. So your words are like law to me. But may I suggest instead that you get the kidnapping bit out the way and perhaps you follow this person to find out what they're doing. That way they can kidnap you, we can rescue you and then we'll kill everyone. Why would I want to be kidnapped? I mean, it's an unfortunate circumstance that it's happened a few times, <laughs> but, but I would want to stay with the children. I just thought it would be the fastest path she could. I will follow your words like law. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Monkey. <laughs> Monkey, what are you actually going to do? Actually, tell me, you've got two hours. Uh, so tell me what, what you're going to do. So the monkey will be his tiny fly form and will sneak around just keeping an eye on things, especially the one that um, uh, that Jipitaka points out. As let's, having call, let's call him Ninja Guy. Nin- ninja number one. Okay? All right, Ninja, ninja Guy. Number one. Okay, cool. So Ninja number one. Um, ninja and, number one. Will um uh will will be obviously someone I check in on a lot to see what they're doing. Um, does my site show me anything about him? Uh, you don't think he's a demon. I don't think he's a demon. He looks very uh, much human. Um, I do have detect good and evil. Go ahead. If you use it on him, you will detect that he's evil. What about in, what about in everyone? Because it's a isn't it like a cone thing? Sure. Mm. Sandy, you want to do that for everyone? If you go and find the hitman. You see what that what that's actually what's that? actually. Sorry, I have this thing called the divine sense. As an action, I can detect good or evil, and I can sense anything affected by Halo and know the location of any celestial fiend undead within 60 feet who is not behind total cover. 
Okay. Can I try uh, that? You how? Okay. Uh, who do you want to check? Oh, it's just a. It's like radar. a big ping. Yeah. yeah. So, how much of the village do you want to check? Is I'm asking you. Uh, it's sixty feet, so I'm just going to kind of like until the end of my next turn. Hmm. Hmm. So, so I could let you cover the entire uh, town square, which is where you are. Yeah. Uh, the center of it. Yeah, sounds good. Um, I'll try yeah. and cover the people that uh, Master seems a bit concerned by, which is Ninja Guy, and then Pixie's concerned about the town elder, right? So I'll cover him the as well. Man. Yeah, okay. if possible, lah. You will not be able to cover the children, okay? Oh, hmm. I'm just letting you know that. Actually, if we're going to be hanging out with the children, so you can the, choose. You the will ninja be able near to the get children. Ninja number one is near the children. You will be able to get him. Okay, no yeah. problem. So in that uh, case, I'll cover the children plus ninja number one, and I'll leave okay, him. You will be able to get the hitman. Okay. Yeah, that's ninja okay. number one is definitely evil. It is oh. like evil, evil to 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 a very high degree. <gasps> Okay? <laughs> okay, but he's mortal because he's not celestial feet, whatever. Okay. Okay. The children all ping as neutral. Okay. Not good. Eh? They all ping as neutral. Huh. Wow. What's up with this village, yeah? Yeah. Life is tough. <laughs> so it, this economy tr- good troubled souls. So anyone that knows children knows the, that they're all sociopaths. So it's not villagers like who are escorting the children ping either as neutral or evil. Wow. You know, maybe we should let Princess Ironfan burn this place down, huh? Oh, <laughs> no! I'm, I'm just letting you know, okay? That's, no, because alignment I mean, wise, that's what they are. At the end of the day, these are people who have neglected their dharma. So we should perhaps allow Princess Ironfan to continue hers. I can't oh. hear this, right? Can I? <laughs> I'm assuming you're not saying this in front of your master. Yeah. No. <laughs> I, I will tell this fact to my, my two Sishong and then also, also to, to Master Lah. Mm. Yeah. Hey, I'm gonna Master. Yes. I just want you to know that all these people are not good people. At best they are neutral. At worst they are evil. I look very sad as I say this. <laughs> but oh. doesn't that apply to all people? No, not really. Uh, a lot of villages we go through, they're okay. They're quite nice people. Well, this village is very unusual. Which means we should be here and, and help them turn toward good. I thought you might say something like that. Yeah, that, was, that, was, that was entirely predictable, little yeah. brother. Redeem yeah. them like coupons. Mm. <laughs> yes. What can... Oh, sorry, what can Halsey do? Can Halsey do anything? Chewing what? grass. Uh, you know, okay. uh, the, the tree here looks nice to sleep on. <laughs> <laughs> the ninja in the tree looks down and gives you a nod. Yeah, do they, the do they look evil, the other ninjas? The ninjas, uh, Sandy, you managed to cover those who were sort of in your area. So about half of them. Yeah. Uh, all but one are evil. Oh, is neutral. Ah, okay. Well, you know what? Um, so the, 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 the thing is this, right? Uh, hopefully, maybe they are this way because of the circumstances of their village. Mm, yes. And if we can help them to change for the better, that would be great. Yes, I, I think that is why we're here. I am, I am so glad that we have chanced upon this village to do, uh, you know, Buddha's good work and then to change these people's lives and, and their hearts. <laughs> Pixie has wandered off. But Master, Master, you must know one thing. If these people are not that great, huh, they might also throw you to a Princess Iron Fan as tribute. So you must prepare yourself for this. I am prepared. I mean, you know, not, not to be thrown as tribute, okay? <laughs> we still need to go to the West. <laughs> yes. But I, I trust that you, my wonderful team, will, will we'll work together and we will all manage to defeat all evils. And maybe even encourage the princess to fri- find the kinder dharma as well. We will yeah. do our best. <laughs> Thank you, fry, Cindy. Speaking of fry, uh, Pixie has started cooking. <laughs> uh, Pixie, where, where are you cooking? Is that the fire next to Lisa? There's, a, there's actually a oh, yeah. fire next to Lisa. Sure. Yeah. So convenient. Uh, yeah. So I've started cooking. Right? I, can, I can give uh, four people 
extra. No, I think if hang on, ah. Uh. Sure. So uh, in the meantime, Lisa gained inspiration. Joking. Hey. Hey. Wait. How inspiration is? Gay. Oh, you see, in the middle of your of your thing, next to your walking speed, next to your hit points. Yeah. There's an inspiration. You can poke it, and then a sunshine yeah. comes up. Yeah. Okay. So I I can cook four treats. Um, a creature can use a bonus action to eat one of these treats to gain four temporary hit points. Mm. So I cook them, and I. What do they look like, Bixi? Tuss you. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. To show that I am not a pig. So, mm. uh, you look so fantastic. Uh, but we're vegetarian. We're monks. <laughs> yes. I've been eating oh. vegetable all this time. Oh, like the High Lama once said, I'm a monk, not a not mm. a vegetable. Yeah, yeah. This is fine. <laughs> yeah, so uh, these are actually a very skillfully uh, gluten, gluten, cr- crafted gluten. <laughs> mock meat. <laughs> mock meat. But do not mock my mock meat because uh, it's very delicious. And then I'm like, wow, I'm making a big fanfare. I'm going to try and like entice, especially the three kids who try to rob us over. Oh, uh, yeah, are you offering it to the villagers? No, I'm just cooking it, but I'm hoping they'll come over. Oh. Well, a lot of people... Especially those who are hiding inside. So there's a couple of adults who are with the children inside, and uh, everyone's sort of picking over because it smells really good. Mm-hmm. Pixie's a great chef. Mm-hmm. Uh, and there's, okay, so you give a count. Uh, there's about 20 children and two adults inside there. And every, in- inclusive of the three uh, children who brought you all to the village, mm-hmm. and everyone's staring at you. Ah! Ah! Wow, you all look like you are quite enticed by my cooking. So, uh, <clears throat> but, uh, you know, I may be persuaded to share some. If I, uh, if, if I have a chat, uh, yo, you, you, you three kids, why don't you come here? I want to have a chat with you. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. Then they scurry over. Yes, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, so, uh, then I'm going to speak a bit softer. Ah, no more close shop, close shop. <laughs> we have to go away. <laughs> Uh, if they start to go away, then I'll ask. Yeah. So, uh, sad, sad voices as people retreat into the temple. So, uh, just now, uh, the, the ninja man, uh, he uh, said you're too young to join. I, uh, you know, I think you all look like perfectly capable. You know, you're so independent. You all even tried to gain, to uh, get tribute from us in the forest. But what was he talking about? You know, like, I, I, maybe I can offer a different point of view. That was my father. Okay, so why you say you're too young to join? Uh, join what? The tribute gathering. Oh, okay. So they're still going to gather some more tribute? Uh? No. We will do that uh, after we rest for a month. And then the tribute gathering will start again. Oh, ah, okay. Uh, so so where, where are they going now? Uh? Why are they dressed like that? They are here to defend us against the minions of Princess Iron Fan. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Okay, okay. Uh, it's just, uh, you know, they seem uh, like they are on the offensive, not the, on the defensive. So uh, I just wonder, you know, why, why, uh, who they want to attack? The minions of Princess Iron Fan? Wait, aren't the minions children? Yeah. Oh, uh, once aren't they're they- taken... They no longer are children. They but, become what? They become her minions. But they're what still the? children. They can be transformed back, right? I assume. Oh, no. They are no longer human. Huh? I don't understand. So what they look like? Uh? They are things. Things? You are your um, oral exam. Uh, I bet that you don't do very well. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hard to describe them because they move very quickly and they have many legs so it's hard to say exactly what they have but they are claws and they are teeth oh. and okay. they move very fast ah okay okay so uh, the question uh, would you say your hate man is a nice man uh, a kind gentle you know cute uh, person <laughs> leaming is a Great leader. Ah, do you say he's sometimes a bit nasty? No, he needs to be harsh because we live in a harsh land. 
Oh. And those who are weak are punished. So, so uh, who like who is weak? Uh? Who would you say is weak? Can you give an example of the people that we see around us? It's like the three of us are weak right now, but we will get stronger. Oh, has uh, she uh, punished the weak children before? No, there's no need. Okay, okay. Because the weak children are all taken away. Oh, mm, 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 okay, 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 okay. But are they taken away or given? They are taken. Oh. Only the strong can stay. This feels like a very heartless village. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Pixie feels really bad. Is that? Uh, uh. <laughs> you see that the, there's more children uh, being left. So there's about fifty inside the pool right now. It's quite. It's quite. Oh, you cannot feed children when they have so many children. <laughs> <laughs> there's no Netflix, but they have chill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, yeah, Pixie feels really bad. Pixie is the, 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 the three kids are like, so can we get some food? I, I think a lot of us. Okay, okay, okay. So uh you don't take this task you I take my I take my rations and I give them. Okay, this task you sorry, it's very only for when you grow up you can eat. No. Pixie just gives all his rations. Like Pixie feels really like ah, feels really bad. Ah, take take my food, take my food. And then uh, before I can change my mind, I, I give my I give the four tattoo pieces, uh, which I assure Tribitaka, one of the that is a mock meat. Uh, then I will <laughs> give one to all of my comrades, including the horse. Hmm. <laughs> I'm like, horse, okay, you I know you have no hands, you store this in your cheek. <laughs> okay. It's like a poison <laughs> pill. You know, you chew it when you need uh, four 10 HP. <laughs> okay, How long does the 10 HP ask for? Actually, it lasts for quite a long time, right? so you can eat now. Okay. Uh, Pixie, I have bad news for you. All the rations that you had uh? was five months old because the Sandy keeps the rest away from you deliberately. Okay, I give them the five months old. Uh, okay, sorry, then, I, I, I look disappointed at the five months old. Eh? It's better than nothing. Oh, I feel really like Then they turn and walk, walk back into the temple. Pixie feels really bad. Okay, so folks, there's five adults. Uh, this is five older ladies, like five amas. Okay, five, five grammys. Uh, inside the temple and 50 children in there. I would like uh, donate a roll, I'll let you know, know this for free. Huh? You notice that there are no other old people in this village except for oh, those five armors. Oh, shit. Damn. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. It's uh. either adults in their 20s to 30s. Li Ming himself is in his mid-30s. Uh, those five old ladies and the 50 children inside. The rest of the villagers, if they have retreated back into their homes. Okay. okay. Uh, you see that some of them have been like picking up weapons along the way also. So you, what you worked out is that the villagers are going to defend their homes. Their children, they've been assured by the headman will be safest in the temple to be protected by these strangers who have come to their village. The five old ladies are there uh, to take care of the children ostensibly, and there are at least 10 ninjas who are surrounding the temple. Okay. That's, uh, is, that's the situation. It's one hour to midnight. Is uh, Monkey still with us or is he still following the ninja? Monkey's in fly form. Uh, if Monkey was following the ninja, you notice that he's just taking up a position uh, to the south of the temple uh, on top of a, uh, let's say, a, a, a barn structure, sort of a granary. And from he's there, hid- what could he see? He's hidden himself uh, inside the sort of the attic area of the granary, and he's armed with a short bow, and he's looking at the temple, which is uh, about 50 feet away. Hmm. So that he's there. Well, if I go back over the rest of the village to see the other ninjas, where they are? Mm-hmm. You notice that they've taken up similar positions, uh, usually at height. You, and this, this is a common trend. None of the ninjas are on ground level. Are on uh, ground sorry, level. on ground. None of the ninjas are on ground level. They're either in a tree, on top of a house, on a roof, inside a second level. 
So this is when all of you also, uh, Monkey notices that the houses here all have at least two levels, if not three. Uh oh. And what about the temple? Is it ground level? The temple, you notice, thanks for asking, uh, has a series of steps leading up. So it's on stilts. Oh shit. I guess it's the critters, the whatever the minions have become. Uh... I will at one point swing back and whisper this into uh, Pigsy and Sandy's ears mm. and then mention it's like a, a, a second brother uh, and equivalently yeah, little brother. Um, uh, and the horse. Uh, horsey brother. Mm. Um, and uh, then since you're here, I don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> um, uh, it appears that all of these houses have multiple levels and none of the warriors that are lying in wait uh, for these yeah, hmm, whatever they are, are on the ground floor. So potentially there is some reason to be above, off the floor. Uh, I am a bit, hmm, hmm. I am uncertain as to what we should be doing here, uh, Sifu. Uh, what, should we be defending these evil people from other evil people? Well... I, I guess so. I, so I, 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 what if I, the other people need defending from these evil people? What other people? The Princess Iron Fan. Huh? Wait, so you're asking whether we should defend the villagers from Princess Iron Fan? But also, Princess Iron Fan is evil. These people are evil. Like, how do you know who is more evil? I do not do philosophy, Sifu. So <laughs> I leave this question to you. I think we should protect the children because they have the most potential to take on the path of good. And we will try to talk to the princess and see whether we can come to a compromise and then convince her not to, to take these children as tribute anymore. Um, okay. Uh, I am going to... So outside the steps, is there room to guard the, the temple? You know, I mean, or, will it, or by guarding the temple, will we be on ground level? Uh, the temple is on stilts. The stilts elevate the temple 10 feet. So otherwise, there's only like one row of steps. There's a set of steps. And now that you look at the steps, you notice the steps are not permanent. They are removable. Hmm. They are basically this set of wooden blocks that are steps. How high? So they lead up 10 feet. Okay, 10 feet. And uh, how, can, can two people stand abreast or like how wide are yeah, you? They're so, sort of uh, 10 feet by 10 feet. So, wow. Okay, so only four could stand up. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what do you guys think? So monkey can fly, but uh, Shifu maybe needs to be elevated, I think. No, she could sit on horsey. We could go inside. Can horsey fit? Home. Oh yeah, we can go inside the temple, yeah. You could. There's still space in the temple. It's crowded, but there's still space. But then I'm worried about... Well, I, but uh, you say all those people inside, uh, you know, they are neutral. Or what, what, what if uh, they, they decided to throw Steve to the wolves? Oh yeah, that would be a terrible idea. Oh, oh I have a plan! I have a plan! I just mm-hmm. thought about it. Okay, okay. I, I also can see ya. Uh, I, I rummage through m- the pack and I find like one of my uh, my own outfits. I say, Shufu, Shufu, wear, wear this, wear this. But what is this? This is my clothes. So you look like me. <laughs> at least from now. And, and, then, and then look at this. Boom. And then using his 18 transformation, Siu, uh, Sandy transforms himself to look like Tripitaka. Ah. Oh, I am the Shufu now. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Shufu, oh, you're very wise. You. <laughs> yes so you know if they okay, try to okay. do something funny they'll get me <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, so but be careful I don't want anything bad to happen to you too of course Sufu don't oh, worry okay I'd just like to note that uh, Tripitaka is clean shaven and does not have a beard oh yeah shit we need to make you and a also is not super huge and buff the way Sandy is so now <laughs> Tripitaka sort of looks a bit like a child in an oversized okay outfit. okay we we'll use more clothes to stuff up the <laughs> <laughs> give him padding and then give him like a hood to wear it's not the best disguise I have to say <laughs> somebody make a uh 
what what's the skill for disguise? <laughs> it's disguise kit. It's, Usually it's disguise, disguise kit. kit. Yeah. No, there's no disguise. There's no bot. So can somebody make a deception? Deception. Deception. Yeah, this, deception. My deception is plus two. Anyone else has a better? Mine also plus two. Mine, Mine also plus two. <laughs> plus one. Plus okay. zero. Can, plus can, zero. Can we all like chip in to give somebody advantage? advantage <laughs> but sure. but they will but they will trust it's Tripitaka if Sandy is riding the horse, right? That's true. Yeah, that's true. We have a decoy yeah. But I mean, we can still disguise first. Come, let's roll roll disguise. Who wants to roll? <laughs> Sandy lah. Okay. Uh, Sandy I can cast. I can cast guidance. Okay. <laughs> lick the Sandy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you say lick the Sandy? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 15 plus 2 is 17. 17. Okay. So they need to be the 17 on their insight <laughs> to but see I'm, through the disguise. And I'm also, I'm also still like that. I become a child again and I'll hang out with Trip, I'll hang out with Trip Taka. So, okay. yeah. So, so, so distract. Inside the temple hall, there's five aunties Chupitaka and 51 children. Oh yeah, close off. <laughs> what are the aunties doing? The aunties are like, yeah, you, you can see So they're just kind of moving around like no, gossiping. They're kind of sitting there and then just like, you know, if any of the children have, have any, you notice that if any of the children seem to have any issues, they just naturally walk up to one of them and then they'll talk to the aunties and then the, the ama will put them for a while and then Take it them and let them back. Sometimes they bring out some water, they have a little bit of food for them, some treats or mm. some candy. But the children are shockingly well behaved. Hmm. Oh, nobody God. shouts, nobody raises their voices, they're very polite. Yeah, to I, the think, armor. I wonder if they are the real tribute, by the way, Will. Oh my God. But, but uh, anyway, so what, where are Tribitaka? Where are fake Tribitaka and Hosi? Fake Tribitaka and Hosi, tell me where you are. Um, we. I don't suppose we could bring the horse into the temple, right? You could, yeah. That's space. Okay. The yeah. celestial horse, of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> we'll we'll go as... inside the temple la, and like um yeah. yeah. Make, make sure the horse is <laughs> a temple trained. And I will I will do my best shufu impersonation and like <laughs> sit one corner and chant. <laughs> Sandy, make a performance check. I'm looking very proud, very <laughs> very flattered. Yeah, this is a DC. 12 to look like Chipitaka. <laughs> what do you roll? Uh, 13. Yes. Oh, okay. yes. You look suitably Chipitaka. <laughs> mm. <laughs> or if you are Lisa, then uh, what was it? Ashtanga, Ashtanga. Okay, there is now half an hour to the to midnight. Oh, shit, man. I feel like we should be doing something. Oh, should we fortify the temple? Is there any way we can fortify it? I have no spells. <laughs> I, I'm not used to being a character with no spells, so I don't really know what to do. I can beat things. Uh, uh, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I do want to talk to the aunties. Okay. So can I? Talk. Okay, yeah, so I, I go. I go to one of the aunties. And but I'll... you're not yourself, I uh, Remember, you are. Yeah. yeah. No, but I mean, they've not met us. They've not met us, right? No. They so they, they don't know who we are. Uh, okay. uh, yes. Uh, what What do you want? Hi. Uh. Hi. Hello, auntie. <laughs> Pixie, but... Ah, yes, a boy, what you uh, want? Oh, uh, um, uh, I, I want to know, uh, when the princess Iron Fan comes, what usually happens? Ah. Hmm. There's a lot of screaming, man. Huh. Oh, why? Because there are people getting killed, lah. Uh, okay. So, uh, usually, all the children are inside their own homes. And the home is fortified. Eh? Then the parents will defend them to the death. So then, uh, why this time uh, they are in the temple? <laughs> because you asked them to come. We? Yeah, it was your idea. Li Ming told us that it was your idea. Wait, what? Uh, uh, I, I think it's because we said we would help to protect the kids. Is it? Mm. Unless it was it was like, but it was his idea. What a man. He didn't suggest it. Oh. <laughs> he said that he was he said that you will protect the children, so he put them all here. Huh? Uh so this is the first <laughs> time this has happened? Yeah, usually it's a bit of uh, 
random things. Uh, and then myself and the other old people, we will just uh, do our best to hide. Uh, because uh, all our children have been taken already. Uh, so me as a child, I'm like, hmm. So, uh, I know I know about the old people. <laughs> oh, the five of us are the only ones that remain. Oh, why? Uh? <laughs> Oh, our husbands and our children are all dead. Mm. Wow. No, so, I don't need to feel bad about these things. It's normal one. So, so old people don't last very long in this village. Huh? It's hard. La. Life here is hard. Oh, I feel really bad. I'm <laughs> like, oh, I got no directions. Okay. Uh, take care. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Lisa, Joe, make perception checks. Oh. oh my god. Uh, six plus five, eleven. Joe? Shit. Rolling badly. Can the fact that monkeys flying around in like tiny fly form give them advantage in some ways? Right now. Okay. Plus. Monkey, you can be anywhere you want to be. I'm going to assume that nobody really notices you. You roll perception, so can you roll perception also? Uh, I mean, if he wants to, sure. Because I, I only, I got 12. Okay, 11, 12. <laughs> Monkey? Uh, sure. If you want. Part of my roll. Uh, that is 16. Ah. Uh, see, I'm not realize, you don't see anything out of uh, odd. Hello, Digit. And uh, Monkey, you, however, notice that the old woman they're speaking to uh, has scars on her hands and forearms. Huh? <laughs> and to you, monkey, they look consistent with uh, slashing wounds. So I will, to, in my tiny form, I will pop into uh, Tripitaka's ear and say, um, uh, little Brother, I mean, Shifu, I mean, Shifu, little brother, um, look at the lady's hands and then pff, fly off. Asking me? No, no, no. He's talking, talking with Shifu, who's disguised as Sandy. Oh, he's uh, Shifu's ear. Sandy Taka. Sandy Taka. Auntie, uh, I mean, uh, Auntie, uh, are your arms okay? <laughs> Is this from, from the last time the princess came? Oh, no, no. This is from last time we're collecting the tributes. Oh, but why? I thought you collect just gold and diamond. Why the diamond attack you? Ah? <laughs> I know. Oh, yeah. You're really new to this village. Ah, huh? uh, yeah. You tell us, man. Nah. <laughs> the trivials don't come on their own, no? They don't grow on trees. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's why Oh, that's why the children, they go and carry the tributes so they try. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I open one eye. And I see if I can see monkey flying around. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm going to assume that yes, you can. Yeah, yeah I'm like, that's the song. I think uh, what it means is this village is a village of robbers. They rob other people for the tributes. I think I told you this <laughs> <laughs> a whole week ago. <laughs> They're bad people. Consorting with demons, doing bad things. Oh. They will kidnap Shifu, and then we will have to kill everyone. Okay, so I should stay as Shifu, right? <laughs> yes. Because if they kidnap you, we get a head start on killing everyone. <laughs> okay, good. Dad. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. No, don't say it. <laughs> don't say that too <laughs> uh, I, I I try to hurry... In, in my oversized clothes, try not to trip to and, and, and go to a quiet place and I try to call Monkey. Okay. M- monkey, you're very busy. So <laughs> yeah. You know this, you hear, but with your keen senses, you hear Trippy Taka calling out to His you. His master's voice that comes over and just goes, uh, y- y- yes, how do you want? Uh, can, I, can I also be near uh, Pixie and Sandy? And- uh, I, I'm following you. I'm accompanying you as your child decoy. Yes. Okay, so, okay. Yeah. Uh, the auntie said that this is the first time the children all gather into the temple. And she said it was our idea. Do you think that's a bit strange? 
usually the children are all in their homes with their parents, mm. but this time it's it's different. I I don't know why. Well, I think we can only wait and see. Uh, but anyway, I think it's good that uh maybe we should spread the word that you are not the master. Okay, so I think I will go and bow down before uh little brother, and then with that, <laughs> like Pixie goes over to Sandy and oh, master, how are your breasts? My breasts. Your <laughs> breasts. Your breasts. Your Are they good? You are so fine. I'm not the farmer. Sorry. This is an unusual method of worship. The second brother often ask you about your breasts. No. Okay. I, I, I just wanted to make sure because it would be inappropriate. And as elder brother, I would have to chastise second brother about this. I I, I agree. <laughs> and so how are your breasts? <laughs> uh, my, my, my breasts are okay, I think. Good. Oh, wait, wait. And then I leave. <laughs> my breasts are okay, I think. <laughs> oh, very good! Ah, oh, ah, oh. come on, come on, and then I, uh, I, okay, then I, I leave to go and stand next to Chupaka again. Okay, I, I, I kind of want to fortify the temple, but I don't know what to do because I, I cannot do anything personally. I can stuff my, I can stuff my rake. Can I stuff my rake between the door? Like, is there like would I be? Nothing you from Uh, you. No, no, okay. it's not that kind of See, door, right? your rig can be summoned to your hand from anywhere. So okay. you can hide it anywhere. Okay. Mm. So, uh, if no kids are close to the door, can I use it to barricade the door? Uh, yes, but you notice that that's just the one door and it doesn't seem to be barricadeable okay. so much. It's, this is the kind of temple which doesn't look like it was designed for like for okay, okay, okay. the no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Then I'll just sort of like I'll just stand ready. Uh, and I ask uh, my friends to eat their snacks. Okay. <gasps> uh, you have 10 minutes before midnight. Oh, shoot. I feel like we should be doing something. <laughs> uh, the countdown I'm is gonna not happening. Go via the center of the village as I fly around to see whether or not what's what's happened with the headman and this tribute and everything else. Uh Oh, the show is gorgeous. It is a wonderful four-sided pyramid that is lined with tinsel uh, and there are lanterns hanging off it, shining, uh, accentuating the light of the gold and the jewels that looks like it's piled high. So they've put all the um, grain and the a food at the bottom to make it look as big as possible, whereas all the most expensive things have been placed on top in beautiful boxes, if not uh, in overflowing open chests. And the hitman looks uh, sufficiently pleased with it. He says, Okay, and now uh, we wait. The monkey, unlike Ramji, monkey is a celestial creature that's lived thousands and thousands of years mm-hmm. and has, you know, five immortal, you know, uh, sort of improvements, um, at least, maybe six. Perhaps. Does Monkey feel that they are legitimately just attempting to give Iron Fan this stuff? Or does Monkey feel that's the setup? Rule insights, check. Inside. Outside. Inside. <laughs> Left side. <laughs> right side. Yes. Hmm. Now, what will Shifu think? Okay, now what's the opposite? <laughs> <laughs> I wrote natural one. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> there is no What's your total? Convinced that this. Oh yeah, what's your total? Oh, um, ten. Okay. Wow. Thank you. Very fast. Sorry. So, uh, Ramji's checking. No, seven. Pardon me. Seven. Okay, you're convinced, monkey, that this is a plot by Erlangshen, who probably is going to arrive at any time with his secret pagoda, 
and then open the pagoda and snatch you up and then beat you up with it after taking the princess Iron Fan's fan <laughs> and then claiming all the glory for himself. Yes, oh, that Erlang Shen, that bastard. Oh, you hate the time when he beat you up. And you're so distracted thinking about the time mm-hmm. that he beat you up that you've completely lost your train of thought. Mm. <laughs> because the shape of the structure looks a lot like that. Mm-hmm. Pago- the mini pagoda that he carries. You got it. So yeah. Um. You spend the next minute or so like, ah, luck shit, the master. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Anybody else wants to do anything? If not, we're going to fast forward things a bit. Okay. So things I'm going to confirm and check, okay? That Tripitaka, Pixie, Horsey and Sandy are inside the temple. You know what? I am going to. Uh, I'm going because the doors are closed, right? They're flimsy sliding doors. But I can't see, right? Uh, you can see through them because they have those gaps. You're you're tall enough to see through the gaps in the door. I'm not. I'm a kid. Oh, then you can't. Uh. The adults can't stand it. I'm going to head out. Okay. Everybody okay with that? I'm, I'm heading out. I'm just going to... But like, in child form? Yeah. Okay, where are you going to be? Just outside the door. But I'm okay. going to kind of hunker down la, so I'm not very obvious. Okay, you'll be the only child outside the temple. Huh? Oh, uh, who's... who's uh, the, the ninjas are there as well? I mean, the ninjas are <laughs> around. <sighs> Uh, okay, let me see. I, I'm going to cloak myself so that uh, you can't really see who I am. Basically, I'll just cover myself up. But I'm still in child form. So this is just so that I can do what another disguise self if necessary to somebody else. Okay, um, just let you know you have no cover when you're outside the temple building. Unless you go and look for cover. If, right. you, if you're going to be outside the door, there's no cover. The temple in and of itself has nothing. You have you must go somewhere like near a tree or some crates or another building if, if you want some cover. I see. Yeah. Um, Otherwise you'll just be a child holding a piece of cloth over yourself outside the building. I find I I'll try and climb a tree if there's available tree nearby. So there's the ninja tree, the tree with the ninja right in front next to Ramji's head. Is there another one in another tree? Uh, the, that's pretty much the main tree the way. okay the, the rest of the trees are further out uh, okay never mind then uh, you can go on the roof of the temple yeah then I'll be a child on the roof of the temple <laughs> okay I'll, I'll do that then okay you're about let me count 10, 10 20, 35 feet up okay okay all right uh, so the rest of you, I'm gonna double check again, okay? Tribitaka, Hossi, Sandy, you're inside the temple. Tribitaka, you're disguised as Sandy. Sandy, you're disguised as Tribitaka. Hossi, I'm sh- next to Sandy. Okay. Yes, just sleeping and lying down. Uh, Monkey, where will you be? Monkey is currently at the moment about 60 feet in the air, looking around, going, Where is that Erlang Sheng? Where is he? <laughs> I'm gonna. <laughs> I'm going to find you and I'm going to box your ears. Okay. Um, um, so eight minutes later, at one minute to midnight, where will Monkey be? Monkey will then descend down to be... Um, how how far from the center is the temple? Come to two, four, six. Uh, it's about 80 feet. Okay, so he'll be equidistant and hypotenuse up. So like yeah, 40 feet in the air, 40 feet in the temple, 40 feet from the, the, the okay. center and able to have a good look at everything. Okay, so I'm going to just assume that you're 40 feet to temple, 40 feet to where? Mm-hmm. Okay, right. Uh, all right. Midnight arrives and it is deadly quiet. You can hear the sounds of the torches and bonfires in that are, and the almost the lanterns even that are lighting the town square 
So everybody keeps quiet, knowing that at any time Princess Anifen could arrive. The crackling of the flames being the only sound, it feels almost oppressive as you stare into the darkness. I think midnight comes and passes. The tension is almost too much to bear, but 10 minutes, 20, half an hour passes. Nothing. By the time an hour passes, and it's an hour past midnight, everyone has started to relax a little bit. The children are getting tired. And for those of you who might be keeping an eye on the ninjas, you can see the ninjas are no longer as tense. They're relaxing a little. Even the village head man has decided to sit down on a little stool that somebody has brought out for him, he's holding his arms and trying to stay awake. And he has two servants with him, one of whom is actually holding a little bamboo container of tea for him. Right. Does anybody want to change what they're doing? Otherwise, we continue. Let me know. Nope. Still no. maintain. I'm still watching here. So I'm keeping watch on the roof of the temple. I'm still cloaked. All right. Another... Can I see anything from me? Can I see anything from my high perch? Maki, you don't see anything at all. There's no movement. You're particularly looking out towards the mountains because hmm? you know that Princess Iron Fan lays towards in one of the volcanoes. And nothing, there's no movement at all. You're thinking, I should be able to see if they come. All right. I need everyone to make a constitution check. Oh, oh, the flames. Okay, to see if you're able to keep. Uh, the people okay. who are within... <laughs> Sorry, give me a sec. <laughs> within, uh, how many feet of me? 10 feet of me, I believe. So that would be Horsey yeah. and Tripitaka. Yeah. 10 feet of me. You get plus two to your saving throw. Hey. Hey. Plus two. Okay, so okay. The contract difficulty is only DC 13. Okay, I am, okay. <laughs> I am 22. I'm, I'm 16. Okay. All right. I have an aura as well, but nobody's uh, within 15 feet of me. I'm 9. Okay. Mostly you're feeling really tired, so you decide, uh, it's okay, I'm going to run out of a little bit. Mostly you're asleep, but otherwise you have no exhaustion or whatever, but you've nodded off. Okay. Okay, we'll see you nodded off. Quietly. Okay. Pixie? That bug that bashes my mouth. Uh, go ahead. Okay. What is it? What is it? So what for those it? of you who are inside the temple, you see that the majority of the children actually have fallen asleep. But the five grannies, the five amas, are shockingly awake. They're like, no issues with staying awake whatsoever. 16. 16, okay. Pixie, you have no issues staying awake also. Okay. Another hour passes. Really? They're trying to make us fall asleep? <laughs> okay. And then, as you all think that you're about to nod off also as you're fighting it, Monkey, you're the first one to see this. There's a hum. You see, you don't so much hear it as you also see it. There's a hum in the distance towards the east. With the right. Yes, the right. <laughs> and in the distance, the darkness seems to shift as there's a slight sort of flickering. Then you hear this soft, buzzing, humming sound. You see what looks like a swarm of dust, a swarm of dust that's approaching the village from the distance. As soon as I see that, I'm going to sort of like get towards kind of stage whisper distance of, of Pixie on the roof and just go, hey, there's a uh, there's a swarm of oh. something coming. Get ready. Make sure everyone else is ready. 
Uh, Go back to watch. Okay. I uh, pick my stuff. I <laughs> the roof, uh, hoping that they understand. When you are here below in, in the temple, that tum 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 sound wakes everyone up. The children are on their feet. The five grannies stand up as well. And you see all of them instinctively reach for their belts. But strangely, you don't believe that they're armed, but they, they're reaching for their belts as they, but then they relax a little. Okay. Now, monkey. Did the grannies give off anything with the detect evil thing, by the way? Oh, they're all evil. Ah, huh. uh, grannies! I forgot. <laughs> Whip you with their belts. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but they reach for their belts. Okay. Uh, monkey, you see. What you thought might have been a swarm of flies or locusts at first actually turns out to look more like a dark cloud that's approaching at speed. Have I ever seen this before? When you see... I mean, have you ever seen a demon princess being born in her palanquin of bones? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> then yes, you have. It's Princess Iron Fan. Oh, here she comes. And oh, how far away is she from me? Sorry? I've got that. I'm just get out of the way. Ah! All right. Uh, I'm just going to see if you can see that you can see what? this. As, oh, she's so pretty. As she, you see, just want to point out, that fan is not made of iron. <laughs> you, see, you see this figure standing there with a huge fan and this look of absolute imperiousness on her face as she sweeps, as the cloud sweeps into the village. And in the center of the cloud, just exposed, is her standing on the, an open palanquin. So it's, the four sides of it are open, but it's made of bone. Okay, it's human bones, it's very clear to you, pixie and monkey. Uh, and she's, Approaching the wagon very, very quickly. Monkey, do you do anything? Pixie, do you do anything? No, I'm waiting. Pixie. I uh, sort of like trying to create uh, as little sound as possible, except for the people below me. I drag the rake along the uh, along the roof so it goes. Okay. Uh, you'll hear that and you don't know what to make of it inside, all right? Those of you inside, you hear this like scratching and you're like, what the fuck? Everyone's looking up at the roof now. Okay, monkey, uh, pixie, the two of you see the cloud approach and stop. And the palanquin shifts forward and lowers itself to the ground. And Princess Iron Fan steps out. Well now, beaming. I see that you've created something different for me this year. Leeming immediately falls onto his knees and his two servants do as well. And they prostrate themselves before her. Their faces low to the ground, their hands reaching out before them. Uh, princess, princess, oh great princess Iron Fan, we pray that our tribute is good enough for you this year and that you will see that our sincerity is more than enough that we will give you all that you desire. Please take our tribute and extinguish the flames for another year. For a moment, the princess is silent as she regards the heaping pile of treasure on the wagon. She looks it up and down. She narrows her eyes. And as she laughs. laughs, you think this is enough for me to keep my servants? And as she opens her hands and you see the cloud shift out into a, almost a black wall behind her that stretches out. And that wall is starting to it extend. It's like a this cloud of darkness is not the extent. You think this is enough for me to not ask my servants to take what they wish and eat of their fill? Foolish mortal. I am Princess Iron Fan. I do as I wish and I take what I like. 
I will give you one more chance. Tell me why I shouldn't kill you where you are. I'd like to hold an action, Ed. Yep. So Monkey will be holding an action to resize. Okay. Okay. Um, Can I hear this? Yes. All of you hear this, actually. Oh, okay. A voice carries clearly across the village through the walls. You you, You suspect that she's using some sort of tomatogy or something like that because it's loud. Her voice is clear. Uh, am I still sleepy? Oh, you're awake. Yeah. You woke up with everyone else. Okay. Okay. Mm. No, I, I, yeah, I'll hold an action to attack um, if she attacks anybody. Okay. Uh, leaving the headman says, Great Princess, Last year, you asked us to give you something prettier and bigger and shinier, something more befitting you. And we have. We have gone out. This is the largest tribute we have ever created. We even got an artist to create this structure for you. What what more? What more can we offer you? What more do you want from us? Please, please spare us, O great and powerful princess. Princess slowly lowers her fan and she flicks it just the slightest flick of her wrist. And monkey, you feel this, but you're able to resist it. But the headman and his two servants are blown off their prostrate positions onto their backs. Three of them in fear. And she says, then maybe for your efforts this year I will reward you by starting with the three of you and then she flicked she snaps her fingers and you see the clouds start to close in like the pincers of a crab and the two ends of the clouds are heading towards I'd like the to trigger my reaction now. Okay. So monkey will swell to gargantuan. <laughs> Sorry. I'm a child. Thank you very much. All right. Monkey. So, I'm, I'm going to say that it takes time so monkeys grow with. Mm-hmm. So he's sort of like, he's probably like big human size right now. It's on the cloud. The cloud is growing with him. Yeah. And it kind of goes, well, if it isn't my old friend, Princess Iron Fan, what a strange coincidence to come in. Come around this place and see you here. How remarkable. How are you? And how is your miraculous husband and also your wonderful child? Her face, which had been this sort of smug, arrogant smirk, turns into this full-on mask of fury. Monkey! How dare you show your face here? I'll show my face anywhere. Uh, anyway, uh, I wasn't being discourteous. I was simply asking. You are looking radiant, as always. A little bit, um, you know, but style choices. We all make them. Now, uh, I guess the question I have for you, though, is how have you been? <laughs> How's your family? <laughs> what are you doing here? How dare you ask me these questions? I will crush you. I will slay you where you stay. Stand, monkey. Then you see her begin to raise her fan. Oh, oh. All right, monkey. I'm gonna, Ramchi. I'm gonna give you the choice. Okay. Do you attack her or try to stop her? She's raising her fan. I will attempt to stop her. All right. Oh. What do you do to stop? Her? I will misty step forward to grab her arm, mm-hmm. right? And yeah, we'll grab the fan actually, and say, "Oh, perfect." I did, in fact, want to wonder if I could borrow this. That is very kind of you to offer. Okay. You You are are... most courteous. Oh, no. Okay. So, all of you, I'm going to assume those in the temple, okay, are now at the doors together with a few of the grannies and some of the kids who are, like, trying to stand up and watching this incredible sight as Monkey, who is now grown to a large size and still growing, Mm -hmm. is holding on and fighting Princess Iron Fan for her fan. 
Oh. But she's fighting me. I mean, I'm not fighting her. <laughs> <laughs> I've just got it. Okay. Is that before we continue, is there anything any of the rest of you would like to do? Oh. Okay. Question. Uh, uh, do I know what Princess Jade face looks like? No. You uh, the only one who might know is the bull demon king. Even monkey doesn't know. Do I know what... She has a reputation, though. She yeah. has a reputation. She is not, a fox spirit. She's a yeah. bully team. Not, not just the jade face is what they say. <laughs> she, she's a well-known fox spirit. Uh, and many demonesses have been pissed off at the sort of rumours that have... That, that go on between her and other demons and demon kings. Do I know what... Uh, uh, the bull, the, the bull demon looks like King Bull looks like. He looks like a giant bull. That's in that's Pixino. <laughs> that's Pixino. Uh, that's his reputation. Bull demon King looks like a but huge, that's, gigantic oh. bull demon. Yes, that's what Pixie knows. That's all Pixie knows, is it? That's all Pixie knows. You, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks like a bull headed. So much as you're a pig headed human, he's a bull headed demon. That's all you know. You've never met him before. Monkey's the only one who's met the family. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to try. Uh, I'm going to this guy's self uh, at will. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be my best impression of the Bull Demon King. Okay. Uh, it's a large bull. I'm hoping that perspective and distance will... And then... Uh, that sounds like a terrible idea, but yay. go ahead. <laughs> So I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to transform myself to Boolean King, throw my cloak off and run uh, away from the temple so <laughs> I don't draw her towards there. And I'm going to... Uh, which direction? So um, looking at the map... I'm going to get back to the map. Mm, okay, so... You, you can tell me up, down, left, right. Uh, up, I... right. Down, down right. I'm going to go. Sorry, the temple is a square building, right? Uh, the temple to the left of the map, off the map, off the map. Uh, I'm going to uh basically go to the left, lah. So up, upwards, away from the away from the temple. Uh, and slightly in the direction of the wagon. You will know. Oh, uh, in the so towards the right, lah. Sure, I, I have no idea. Yes, the wagon's okay. on the right. Okay, yes. the map, yes. Yeah. So you're heading towards the, the wagon. So currently, if anybody's looking from ground level at the wagon towards you, uh, they won't see you because of the tree. Okay. You, you see what I mean? Then I will shout first and then I'll run. What will you shout? Ah, my wife! This is... I have come ahead of you and you do not need to sign your hands! And I jump off and I run. Make a deception check. Do not need to what? Oh, my friend, the bull demon king. How wonderful to see you. I give advantage. With advantage. Hey. <laughs> but I'm going to try and stay in the shadows, basically. Why don't you get inspiration? I'm going to try and say, okay, I'm going to use my inspiration because I've been rolling really badly. That's good. Oh, no, no, wait. With advantage, I don't use yet. Wait. Yes. Can't use radiation. Uh, 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 and... It's not great. I think deception. That's a 12. <laughs> Look inside. And she is like. Okay. Princess Iron Fan hears it, glances over, and then narrows her eyes at you. Does that is mean that... I get a chance to take the thing away? Because she's no, she, her grip is iron. Uh-huh. Yes. <laughs> she glares at you, monkey, and says, Is that your idiot? <laughs> Brother, I'm still there. Oh my I mean, wife! My wife! You'll need to narrow that one down a little bit. But, <laughs> Which uh, one is it? The river troll or the pig? Hey, listen. Nobody called you funny names. I don't see why you'd have to make any conversation regarding their looks or their, you know, weight. They're literally one of them. Literally, is a river troll, and the other one literally. Oh, now is you a can pig. back rationalize everything. I, I, I personally I, think that you're uh, unreformed. Unrepentant demon. I'm still really? gonna yell. It's 2021. Wife, you should get wife. with the program. I'm still yelling. My wife, I'm sorry about Princess Jade face. Look, there's nothing wrong. Uh, like, Maybe it is your husband. I mean, 
you know. What do you mean, Princess Jade Face? Oh, oh. Oh! Why don't you come over here and I will explain it to you? Monkey, make a... F... Uh, just make a strength check. Hmm. <laughs> 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 it's a natural 20. Ooh, and that's... a plus 5. So, uh, with straight plus 20. So, 25. Okay. Here's what happens, Monkey. And... This is gonna suck. Oh, really? uh, oh sorry. <laughs> you take you, you remember how your staff weighs eight, 17,857 mm. pounds, but it weighs like nothing in your hand. Mm. A golden fan weighs 10 tons. Cool. I'll just drop it on. I'll just drop it then. <laughs> yeah, you you wrench it out of her hands and you go whoa onto the ground and you you're, well, I'm I'm that huge, right? I'm probably gargantuan, yes, close, swelling but, to large. So I yeah, would just be letting. But it. it's it's dragging you down, mm-hmm. and you quickly okay. Make a dexterity check. Yeah, sure. Uh, DC fifteen. Uh, yep, that's fast. Okay. You let it go just before it crushes your hand. It falls to the ground with a clang. <laughs> and she says, "You idiot! You can't take this." And she. Snatches it off the floor, and then she looks up at you. What do you think? What do you take me for? And she rears back again. So you look like she looks like she's about to fan you. I will. I will pull the staff out of my ear and have it be large, and go. We don't have to do this, princess. I mean, like, there's no animosity between us. Just because your child has issues does not mean that we have issues. We're going to be around an awfully long time. You're an immortal. I'm an immortal. I don't understand why we have to be antagonistic. She pauses for a moment. Still with her eyes narrowed at you. She relaxes a little bit. Fine, monkey. Mm. So, let us come to an understanding before I kill you and stupid fellow disciples and that idiot you're scolding. That's a bad way to start an understanding. <laughs> Tell me why I shouldn't exterminate all of this village for conspiring to have you here to steal my fan. Well, they had nothing to do with it. Honestly, the only reason I was involved with the fan was because you were about to smite people with it. And more importantly than anything else, the chance of you actually exterminating me is approximately zero because the entire the celestial hierarchy up to the Jade Emperor has tried. So, realistically, the only person that's ever been able to suppress the monkey is the Buddha himself. So, yes, I'm aware of this. So, if you are aware of this, perhaps you should get back in, as they say in the common parlance, your box. But you're also aware that with a single wave of my fan could destroy all of this village. But you could do that anyway. You were just about to. That's the only reason why I came in to talk to you about stopping the fan. Oh. Is that why you're here? No. We're traveling. Then why are you resisting me? Why are you giving me all this trouble? I think you have some issues of self, you know, image here. Honestly, we were passing by. I had said nothing. You showed up had a problem with the tribute that was offered to you and decided to start a fight in a place where we had been spending the night. So in fact, if anything, you have attacked us and offended our guest rights. So I do not understand why you have begun a war against the celestial bureaucracy. YOLO, YOLO. <laughs> okay, so if none of you, are the rest of you going to do anything after... So I'm going to give you all a chance. To yeah. Monkey is yelling monkey. loud. Yeah. There is I'm no give the rest of you is a chance 20 to 20 30 feet tall and yelling loud. Yeah, Monkey is Ultraman right now. Uh, Ultraman. And <laughs> the rest of you, I'm going to give you the chance to either take actions or speak. You can yellow, yellow, Monkey. You can, yeah. Um, but Or you can choose not to. Honestly, and... I think Tripitaka is just very stunned and is just watching. Hmm. I'm going to use Emboldening Bone. And that's uh, basically I can choose up to four willing creatures within 30 feet. 
and making magical bonds. So I will pick Sandy and Ripitaka and myself uh, for the next ten yeah, minutes. You could pick Sandy also. Ah, uh, pick Sandy thirty five feet up. You say. Oh, but they are they are ten feet up. Pick Sandy, you 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 jump down. Oh yeah, oh yeah. But okay, you're, you're sure. still within range. Yeah. Sandy is okay. like, what would Master do? That's like Master would try to talk to them. Hmm. Maybe I try. Okay. <laughs> so it's approaching. The S- Sandy, so you open out the temple doors and walk out. Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Yeah. Sunshine, sunshine. Uh, <laughs> Princess Iron Fan. Um, what will Master say? <laughs> Princess Iron Fan. You know, there is much to be achieved by doing good. I understand that uh, uh, these villagers <laughs> are giving you tribute to keep the fires away. But if you were to use your fan to put out the fire for good, the Buddha will look upon your good act kindly and, pixie... and help your cultivation upon this uh, cycle of rebirth. Yes. And- Pixie, yeah, uh, and Pixie still, still looking like the Bull King says, "Yes, yes, exactly. That is a very good strategy. Or you could take the best treasure of all, which is this immortal monk here, and eat his flesh, and forget about the rest of the treasure instead uh, of wasting time with the village." Oh uh, no, no! Do not eat the monkey. <laughs> this is uh, not the monk. The monk, not the monkey. He's talking to you. <laughs> and I'm pointing at. I'm pointing at Sandy. But but uh, monkey what? won't have that. He's like, huh? Ah, no, you must leave uh, master alone. This is not a. Uh, uh, do not offend guest rights. Princess Iron Fan screws up her face and goes, "You, I don't eat monks. What? What do you take me for? We we did not take you for anything. Perhaps it's a funny day." Maybe your husband has indigestion. This, this one, uh, if you eat him, uh, you will live forever. Uh, I've heard about this rumor. Take him instead of the... the yeah, I will grab him. And then uh, Pixie goes up and tokenly grabs his hand. Oh no, I have been grabbed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I tried to pull Pixie away from Sandy. Like, no! What are you doing? No! No! And I'm like, <laughs> what are you doing? She turns back to you, monkey, and she says, yes, Are your fellow disciples offering your master to me <laughs> as tribute? No, I think this hey, is part no, of what not. is referred no, to we're not. <laughs> as... Uh, it's, I think it's a, a tantra thing. I think it's part of the scripture uh, in order to be able to visualize. So I do not understand this, as you know, and I know, and you know, and I know. We are warriors, we are celestials, we are part of the, the beast king. But from another perspective, they are they follow a different path. And on this Come. path, there are things I will be honest with you, Princess Iron Fan. I don't understand them. It's a call of the food chain. And I will send it towards towards to But you man. know I will not let you eat my master. It's All of you know this that Princess Iron Fan is looking rather disgusted. And I don't want to eat. That she points. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's, that's very disgusting. reassuring. That speaks very well to you, Iron Fan. I yes. hope that uh, we will have a long and productive relationship as friends and allies. Uh, or if not, then not as opponents. Tripataka is very relieved for Sandy and also oh, like, has a bit What of... about the, for your son? Ah, think about your son. The next time a monkey attacks him, if he is uh, eaten of the flesh of this immortal monk, then. Uh... He, shut up. I, I don't know who you're talking about. Yes, and if you see my son, tell him that I'm looking for him. I haven't seen him for a while. Now, I want to I know... Be- I believe he is currently telling his teacher that he has handed in his maths homework. <laughs> oh, sorry. Different my time. son? No, sorry. Uh, different parallel celestial hierarchy. Someone else. <sighs> no. You mentioned earlier something about Princess Jade Face. Who? Huh? Y- yes. No, you, we didn't. The, no, we didn't. You, the one who looks, who's trying to look. My husband doesn't look like that. Just stop being ridiculous. Go back to your original form. I uh, changed my form to that of an extremely handsome man. <laughs> oh. I'm so sorry. 
Ah uh, yes. I understand uh, uh, that uh, your, your, your husband, I was just trying to console you because I understand your husband had a dalliance with uh, that famous fox spirit. She points a finger at you, then she turns it around and then she does a come here. Oh, okay. Pixie, make a uh, wisdom save. I have, 19. I have this advantage you have against this advantage female characters. Against <laughs> So we're supposed oh. to save DC-19. Oh, yes, nice, nice. Yes, this is exactly what I hoped for. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, first one is a two. You failed oh. it already. Yeah, okay. first second one is a one. Okay. Pixie, oh. <laughs> you have been dominated. Oh, shit. Mm. Okay. And now she's asking you, and all of you can see this. Pixie's obviously been charmed. Oh, great. Pixie, she's, she says... Tell me all you know about this Princess Jade face. I'm going to bonk Pigsy on the head with my staff. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. (laughs) Is he within 10 feet of me? Uh, Not when he was getting charmed. Charmed? Okay. Oh, because he moved. But actually, there is a D4 from a boldening bond, but it's not going to help. (laughs) (laughs) What do you do? You 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 have been on the head? No, Uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, right. yeah. yeah no, I'm just going to bop uh, uh, Pigsy on the head and go, Hey, Pigsy, come on, little brother. And uh, to attempt to, to uh, break the charm. Okay, so you're going to do that right after Pixie has to respond. Pixie, she's asked you, what do you know about Princess Jane Trace? How oh, do you respond? Uh, I heard she's really hot. Uh, I heard, uh, you know, she's uh, like, uh, you buy her a drink. And, uh, you know, she's very modern with her. Uh, with her sensibilities, uh, so you know, it's, just, it's not like you have to wait until the second date or anything like that. Uh, I, I heard uh, that, yeah, she, she's really good looking, and uh, I heard that she slept with your husband. And uh, you've been smacked on the head by monkey at this point. Oh, God. Okay, uh, make a say. You can, what, what, it's still at disadvantage. It's a wisdom 19 say. Uh, deep oh, last for um, emboldening bond. No. The last thing you said is slept with your husband. I feel already okay. So monkey, you smacked Pixie on the head. Pixie, ah. Pixie, Pixie's eyes don't even shift. Ah, yeah. It's just a. Mm. Well, I don't think she's a part. I smack anymore. him again. I get two attacks. Sending to the try <laughs> to move forward, such that I'm within ten feet of Pixie. Okay, so monkey, you're gonna smack him again later. I'm just gonna assume you do this once a turn. Okay, right. sure. Okay. <laughs> Whichever. Way. Uh, Sandy, you're approaching Pixie. Yes. Now, Princess Iron Fan asks you the next question, Pixie, which is. Where is Princess Jade Fist? Uh, I don't know. I would, I would guess that if you're not home right now, uh, she's probably at your house. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I can say, uh, I mean, you know, I heard lots of things about her. But man, you, you, you're a fine lady, man. She doesn't fine. wait for you to finish speaking. And she turns around. <laughs> and then the cloud follows, dragging as it swarms over the tribute wagon. And the wagon disappears as she leaves, the cloud leaves the village and there's silence. She's just gone. Am I still dominated? Okay, Pixie, you're still dominated, but you're you're free to do as you please. I get within 10 feet so that she's covered in aura. Okay. I need to let all of you know that the cloud is visible to all of you still if you want to follow it. That's the option. It is still visible to you. It's moving at a speed that you can follow it. I'm following it. Uh. <laughs> okay, Pixie is following it. The rest of you? Yeah, I'm trying to get Pixie within 10 feet so that my aura will break the charm. <laughs> so Pixie is leading while Sandy's running after Pixie. Again. You wake Pixie on the head again. Yeah, and um, hopefully Sandy's within 10 feet by this point. Sandy, what's the effect? I just, just can't be charmed. Can't be charmed? Oh. Okay. Uh, but if already charmed? It just says, can't be charmed, man. <laughs> okay. Pixie, you come to your senses. Oh. You still want to follow Pixie's eye effect. Yeah, I'm like, hey, uh, and and grab him, him by the shoulders, shake him. Big C, snap out of it. I, 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 I I know she's very pretty, but we have a job to do here. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, so uh, so oh, so, 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 so 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 I I I think right. So uh, now she's gone away from the village. Okay, but the thing is, she will come back. 
So uh, we have to meet her in her house. The hitman shouts. <laughs> she didn't use her fan. Yeah, she still has a fan. The Maybe. flames, the flames, the flames will overwhelm us in days. Yeah, we have to follow her. Come, we have to follow the crowd and not just because she's hot. Okay. So you have a choice, Party. Can You can leave the villagers to their fate or you can follow the cloud. Yeah, I will go to trip it up, the real trip it up aside and like, you know, yes, whatever, like follow trip it up. Okay. The idea here being that if she hasn't used her fan, mm. if she uses her fan, the flames are extinguished for you. She didn't use her fan. Okay. So the issue is that she's flying though, right? Uh, there's a cloud that's moving away at the speed. But the thing, because of the nature of it, you are able to follow it. Huh? I'm going to say that if you make a choice within the next minute or so, you'll still be able to follow it. Yeah. I'm like, but it's, it's, it's up to you. I'm like, well, I'm still in the Shripitaka cosplay. I'm like, oh, <laughs> uh, uh, I think you follow safer, but uh, I don't think I, sh- I or Master should go. We can stay here. But then we all need to work together to kill her. Uh. Princess know, but... Iron Fan, maybe but... Master no, but uh, maybe Master can uh, bring her to the way of uh, correctness, you know? Okay. So if we all go together, let's I go. will we kill Iron Fan? No, no kill. I, I, I need to, to make sure Monkey doesn't kill. No, I, she's I think mad. we still can talk not... to her. Maybe I don't think just... even we need to follow, right? Yeah, maybe we just need to go there and do some marital counseling. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. Then maybe fix research should stay. <laughs> No, 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 no. Don't worry. Don't worry, okay? I, I, I'm very useful. I'm, I'm not a... Anyway, let's go! Are so... you all following? <laughs> I uh, so. Monkey will, yeah. Pixie's okay. running. All right. Uh, the chase ensues. So, in order not... You are keeping up with her, but she's... Understandably, she's kind of hit start on you. So, she... It's not hard to follow a giant dark cloud. Uh, the cloud seems angry. And she seems to be storming back to her home. And about three hours later, you find yourselves at the opening of a gigantic volcano. Uh. It's warm, and the cloud disappears into it through a cave opening in the side of the volcano. Before you all enter, I'd like to ask if anybody would like to do anything, take any precautions, or, or have a marching order. Does anybody have, uh, you know, either fire resistance or yeah, I, I do, I do. But why, why are we going in here? We're trying to make sure, we're trying to get the iron fan so that she will keep the flames away. Or rather to maybe convince her to just fan the fucking thing since she took she took the tribute. Yeah. Then she chabot. But she but didn't she, kill anyone, right? She didn't kill no, anyone, but they it. are going to die because she didn't do her job. You know? It's like yeah. you take the payment but you never deliver the goods. How can that be allowed? Report to case. <laughs> <laughs> Small claims court. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. 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 Uh, how are you entering? Uh, any precautions? No, I... I, I yeah. I'm going to cast a bolt and bone again. It's 10 okay. minutes, so I need to cast it again. Okay. Uh, let y'all know that if y'all stay within 10 feet of me, I also have an aura, and that is... Uh, you have advantage on saving throws against spells and magical effects. Mm. Okay. Okay. Advantage against spells and magical effects? Yes. Okay. Uh, the one that's not in my bond is Monkey. Okay. Uh, I can only choose four. I'm going to assume Monkey, you're uh, taking up points. Yeah. Oh, is it? I can as well, because I'm the tank. But I mean, okay. You can, I, I yeah, no, no, you, you, please. I, I don't. Um, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll take points well. because I'm like, ah, ah, Princess Iron Fan and maybe Princess Jade Face. <laughs> Cautiously, you enter the cave and find that there's little resistance and the roar, the dull roaring sounds of a volcano slight rumbling as well as it every now and then 
it shakes a little. And you thought at first that it was from the movement of the tectonic plates or the lava. But no, you start to realize it's from the shouting. <laughs> oh shit, Marito comes in. It's Princess Iron Fan shouting and it's shaking the volcano. And you catch snatches of, where have you been? Who is this woman? Oh! <laughs> what is going on? Explain yourself! <laughs> and then you don't quite hear the reply. Really? You think I believe you? Do you continue into the cave? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to... Yeah. <laughs> Come this far? I'm going to keep a lookout to see if the fan is lying around. If it's, if it, if it's not, then uh, I'll just keep going. Middle brother, the fan weighs a, a lot. Like two tons. Like a lot. Like my staff, a lot. Okay. Too uh, much. Maybe uh, we can go and yeah, take a rain cloud. Drop the rain cloud on the fa- on the fire. Something like that. <laughs> maybe there's another. We'll turn no, it I must, uh, no uh, it, it sounds like there are two hot chicks in there now. Okay. So we mm. have to go. Okay. So... Uh, 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 Pixie's heading in. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you as you continue with Pixie taking up the lead, uh, Chibita, is there anything you want to say before they continue? Uh, I am I am foolishly curious about <laughs> the issue, <laughs> and I actually do want to go in. <laughs> I'm a bit distracted. As you don't cautiously <laughs> approach, you. Recognize you see why she said that uh Pixie was wrong because Pixie you had no idea that the Bull Demon King looks like this. Oh Wait, just your head though. Oh wow. Yeah, he's it's quite an impressive figure. Uh but right now his face is a rather chastised <laughs> look of oh uh, no really there's nothing going on between me and this woman. Uh-huh. But there's no other woman there. Hmm? It's just him and Princess Iron Fan. Really, really, I, I, I'm telling you, I was just out to uh, buy some... Mango. Uh, yeah, mangoes. <laughs> yeah, I was out to pick fruits and I came back. Then where are the mangoes? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I dropped them along the way I, after eating all of them finished here. Yeah. Well, you don't have to make inside checks. Like, he's obviously lying. <laughs> <laughs> and she is furious. And at the end of that sentence, she picks up her fan and he's like, oh shit, no, not again. And she sweeps it. And the bull demon king is swept into... Uh, you see this... Right above Joe's head, there's this, this bit of a hole. Yeah. He's slammed into it. <laughs> And then he's like, no. And then you hear his voice getting softer and softer. <laughs> Wait, so he 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 falls into the hole and disappears forever. He's, he gets swept <laughs> in. He, he gets fanned. We don't know if it's forever, lah, but he's, he's inside the hole. Like he's, he's, he's apparently had not before. again, right? So yeah, he, like, no, he got thrown away. <laughs> Throw the whole husband away. Yeah. Okay. Princess Iron Fan has now turned around. You see where those uh, bones are, like between me and Joe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so that's where she is. She sets down her fan beside her and then she angrily goes uh, and stalks off about uh, 15 feet away okay, and lies down and then she's quietly sobbing. Aww. Aww. But the fan is now unattended. Oh, yeah, she has not think. noticed the five of you. But it weighs two tons. <laughs> Ten, actually. Uh, Ten tons. Uh, according to Monkey, who held it very briefly. Yeah, Monkey can't hold it. It really looks like marital counselling is necessary. Yeah, Master, you're good at this stuff. Just... Is, is Master good at this stuff? I mean... <laughs> Master is a virgin. <laughs> Sometimes. From the... No, nah, no. Nah, that's... <laughs> they say... Be careful. No. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. And well, no. Hmm. Seriously, no, Master. What's your persuasion check? <laughs> uh, it is plus two. <coughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Not called leader. Uh, 
Pixie is plus one. <laughs> My intimidation is high. Four C, persuasion plus four. Wow! Oh, most oh, yeah. most ever. You can. Really? Really? She has a soft spot for animals. Master, some people like animals. You're yeah. a virgin on a horse. That basically makes horse a unicorn. <laughs> so, why don't you take the unicorn and let her stroke the unicorn? As in both of us. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe in your own form, lah. Cause, uh, yeah. Yeah. Don't be Sandy. That's just confusing. Yeah. So I we the Sandy five Tripitaka. Okay. And then after that, we let them go and do their talky talky. But remember, we need her to go be a good person again, like you always promise. But we need a secret code phrase when you realize that she's actually going to attack you. What's our secret code phrase going to be, Master? I have a good one. Help! Help! <laughs> <laughs> I like it very to the point and Excellent. short and sweet. Excellent. Let's Clear. use that then, Master. Well done, Monkey. Your your will is word. Okay. Uh, just a question. She was very very big, right? No, she wasn't. Oh, she, she was like flying the on a uh, carriage. Yeah. Uh, okay. Monkey, so we are about the same huge. size. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's strange. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so I approach her. Uh, very. Politely, with Tossy. Um, so she, she obviously she looks up quizzically as she sees you riding on the horse. I, I get off the horse and I, I kind of just guide Tossy with me to appear less grand. Like I want to empathize on her level. I already told your disciples I don't want to eat you. <laughs> Oh, I, I am not presenting myself to be eaten. Um, I, I'm, I see that you are troubled. Would you like to share with me what is wrong? Oh. What would you know about the troubles that I have and, and my good-for-nothing husband? I do not know about the troubles that you have, but I'm a good listener and I can share the burden with you if you allow. The burden. What burden would you know? What burden would you know if she walks over and picks up the fan? What burden would you know of holding this cursed fan? Mm-hmm. Being unable to rid myself of it? What burden would you know of being married to this bull that forced himself on me? What burden would you know of having a child who doesn't even recognize you as his own mother? Say I'm powerful, but what power do I have? Nobody loves me. Nobody respects me. They just want me to put out their fires for them. She throws the fan down. She drops the resounding boom. Do you? Is it possible to put out the flames permanently? Then maybe you'd be free of that, that duty, and can start afresh somewhere else. It's never too late. Do you understand where we are right now, Mark? Oh, well, not really. Could you teach me? While well, this is happening, I walk over to to, to Su- Judy, and I say, you know, a uh, long time ago, people said to me. Sometimes people want solutions and sometimes people want sympathy and it's hard to know which one. And I wonder if Master should have asked whether they wanted solutions or sympathy because I have a feeling that Master is offering solutions, but I don't think that's actually going to be something we can deliver. Thank you, Please, sorry. It's totally unhelpful. <laughs> Sit quietly. <laughs> we, have to, we have to trust him, Master. Oh, absolutely. Then he can do it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Horsey start touching his nose onto the Lady Iron fan. Mm. Pushes you away. Oh, it's wet. Uh, <laughs> hey, this is the flaming mountains are my home. If I put up the flames, 
have no way to live. If I just extinguish them, snuff them down just for a year, then it's fine. But extinguish it, it just becomes too cold for me. And I have to find somewhere warm again. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. That is... I put out the flames, I destroy my home. That is very kind of you to be putting out the flames for so many years and understanding the plight of the villagers. Oh, no. They, they know their place, these insects. All of you mortals should know your place, especially when facing beings like myself. Facing what, like yourself, sorry? Beings like myself, superior oh. beings like myself. <laughs> You are very powerful and I'm sure through their fear they are grateful that you have helped them. Is this something you would like to continue to do? Help. To fan the flames? I suppose it is something that has become somewhat of a happy thing for me. Every once a year I dress up. I bring my minions out for a little walk. You are very beautiful. <laughs> then she looks up. Oh, you brought the pig. Oh, I, uh, I want to say that uh, you look very nice when you dress up. And I'm sure when you dress down on Fridays as well. Good, good. You look good. Uh, perhaps your husband has not been uh, cherishing you enough because uh, you are a fine specimen of you the see goddess. Her bowl when she, you mentioned her, say husband, she ah. see her bowl of fists and it's stuck when she you, uh, you, no. you, you know, thank you. you. You know, Iron Fan, I have a possible thought, which is you say you have nowhere to live, but we are on a long journey to the left. And to the left? To the are left. You liberals? No. It is not about a metaphorical political position. It is about a geographic state. But that's not important right now. Um, during this process, my current home, where I would have inhabited, is not being occupied. If you want, you could stay in the spare room or the spare wing or cavern, depending on how you in a could. volcano? I mean, you can turn the heat up. No one's <laughs> living there. I don't think you understand. No, I do. I was just trying to provide something helpful since you trapped yourself in some psychological dead end around the subject. I need to live somewhere where it's warm enough so I can die from the cold. Foolish oh, foolish. in which case, actually, uh, Lao Zi has an alchemical fire they attempted to keep me trapped in for over uh, uh, 500 years. Uh, perhaps oh. you could live there. Oh, where is that? <laughs> uh, it is in the celestial heavens. Uh, you, the, uh, the Jade Emperor's alchemy. I'm a demoness. Sure. I'm a beast. We all get on. I think you don't see the flaw in the options that you're offering me. Um, I'm sorry to interrupt, but uh, uh, Miss Iron Fan, I'm not quite sure how, how we can help you. I mean, the villagers are very scared because the, your, the, the fires from the mountain are going to destroy their home in a few days. I mean, they gave you the tribute, you took the tribute, and they would really love for you to just, you know, make the fans go away for another year at least. So what? How can we help you help them? Why would I want to help them? I allow them to live. They beg me for their lives. Oh, yes, because if they are all dead, then there's no reason for you to dress up and go out to take tribute because there will be no more tribute. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, a, it's, a, it's a true. And uh, it would oh, be such yes. a waste because uh, on your galivance, everybody gets to see your beauty, you know. Exactly, the, be exactly. the beauty that has drawn all of us here. And if you feel underappreciated, ah, I appreciate you. And I'm sure... You know, without uh, all these uh, villagers to make obeisance and throw themselves down on your face uh, like the hitman just now, uh, he threw himself down on his face, you know, after seeing you. You know, if you don't uh, have that uh, and you just have to, you know, be treated the way you are here, you'll be very bored, I think. You know, you deserve to be worshipped. I will throw myself down on my face. I throw myself down on my face and I so sneakily try and see whether I can, like, pick up the skirt. 
<laughs> she's got a really long skirt, but she notices you peeking. And then she takes a step back. You horrible beast. Technically, he is actually a human, but I agree. Conceptually, <laughs> he is a horrible beast. Thank you. But your bearded friend has a point. I would miss the new minions I get every year. And at this point, all of you notice that there are little red dots that you thought were just parts of the flames all across the cabin. But they're not. They're oh. eyes. Oh. Uh. There are these strange misshapen figures in the shadows with red eyes all over this cabin, across the ceiling. So, and in the walls. Iron Fan, when you say your minions, um. These aren't, because, you know, we've been getting on very well. And I figured there's been a, um, a rapprochement between us, a moment of mutual understanding. Yeah, sure. That. Now, uh, but this is all going to be a bit of an interesting question. Are these minions of yours now, or have they ever been? Uh, innocent children. Innocent. Uh, <laughs> she laughs. <laughs> have they ever been children? Let's start with that. Of course they were, but now, now they're much happier. Ah. Uh, hmm. She she hmm. weighs she weighs at them and then she picks up her fan. They're much much happier here with me. Have so, you my asked friend. them if they're happier? Just look at how happy they are. How happy are they? And you see them begin to scuttle. How excited they are that we're here. Do they look oh. happier than the kids in the village? <laughs> it's actually quite fucking creepy. Because the darkness is starting to move. And okay. the darkness has little red dots for eyes. I think it's time to do battle. <laughs> mm. uh, uh, what, what are you so, trying to do, uh? Iron Fan, we don't have to do this. You can just give a binding promise to the heavens that you are not going to continue this practice of stealing children. Stealing? Please. My minions do as they please. I don't tell them to do anything. Uh, hmm. No, but you take them away from being human children in the village. And then they are free of their worries. No longer having to thieve and steal and kill I only have to thieve and steal and kill because you demand this treasure. And why wouldn't I? No, I'm just pointing out the obvious tautology in your argument. It is perfectly reasonable to ask for payment for a service, especially if that service involves turning down the heat in your own home and being uncomfortable. That's <laughs> reasonable. What is not reasonable is to then say that that payment is unreasonable in terms of volume and therefore require that somebody else be suffering, and then say, ah, oh, but they were suffering anyway, so they're better off now. Just well, I mean, logically inconsistent. They both they can are appreciate better. it. Hmm? Are they? They're just specs. They don't even have faces. But they're so happy. They all are so happy to serve me. <sighs> shall we, shall we, uh... <laughs> so... Master, are you satisfied yet? No, oh, I... I am very sorry that the princess is going through some oh. hard times and, and, and serious problems. It, it, it brings me great sadness to hear <laughs> you suffering so much. And I'm, I'm wondering what could be done to, to help you. Well, I have the tribute. Now that you mention it, I suppose it is fair that I go extinguish the flames for another year. Since I've taken tribute and I've come back, and that stupid fox spirit managed to escape slowly. But yes, and uh, if you find that, that fox spirit for me, I might be inclined to put out the flames once and for all and 
look for a new home. Oh. Hmm. Then you would be free of the the job and and build a new life. And if you wanted friends, we could be your friends. Yes, but if only on the condition that you bring her back alive. Uh, Master, uh, if I may have a word just very briefly before you say anything else. She, and she, she takes uh, a step back and then she waves. Thank you. To the Appreciate it. No, that's privately. great. Fantastic to see you. Really good to see you, Princess. Just just give us one minute. But Master, please, just, just, just thank you, Princess. Thank you. <laughs> Master, Master, we can't do the thing that she wants because then you're going to bring someone to be tortured by Princess Iron. She didn't say she was going no, to no, torture. No, 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 no. I, I, I understand that, but they're not going to have tea. It is not going to be like a nice evening and a civilized conversation and an opportunity for them to both compare the reasons and rationales. Look, look at her. Look at Iron Fan. Look at the children that she has stolen and turned into demon spirits that she justifies. Love her. Do you think that this fox spirit who is uh, in a situation of infidelity with her bullheaded husband is going to be treated better or worse than these children. Well, we we could be there to mediate. No, 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 master, master, master. And and I, she did she did propose. You know, she would put the flames out for good, and yes. everyone could build a new life okay. free of the fear. And 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 she, we could talk with her and and help her go down a path where she can heal from her pain that she shared. Mm-hmm. From behind, from behind, she's like thumbs up. See, she seems willing to cooperate. I don't see why we shouldn't try. If not year after year, there's a chance of these children being turned into these beings. Uh, and... but, uh, am I close enough to interrupt this conversation? Uh, you're all together. Uh, but uh, Master, what she said is that she, if she stops uh, putting out the flame, she will miss having her minions. I don't think uh, it is mutually exclusive. I think she plans to take the tribute and the children every year. Then she, she, because she's nearby enough, she says, oh, I just want to make sure that if you bring me that fox spirit alive, I will put up the flames and leave. And And you won't take any more children? Oh... No, no, not from them. Not from them. Not from them? So from Wait. other people? If I find suitable... Villagers. Master, she's a demoness. Why, why, why do you need to take children? I mean, why don't you find another hobby? Oh, <laughs> golf, perhaps, Master. I hear that golf is very, very good. She or says, on knitting? I'm going to say it again. I don't take the children. My minions do. Can you I have order no use your, for them. Can you order your minions to stop taking children? But they're so happy when they do it. It makes them so pleased. Yes, but boundaries must be had, you know. It's like when you have a dog and they insist on eating your food, you have to tell them no, because human food's not good for dogs. Ah, fine, fine, fine. Let's make a deal. You. you bring me the fox spirit and then Kill her in front of me. <gasps> and then... uh, I, w- I, was, I was thinking we could talk and, and we will help you mediate from as your friends. You wanted friends, right? <sighs> and it could be a good outcome for all of us. We could all come out better people and, and, and start new lives and go down new paths. So. I want a loyal husband. I want an obedient child. Okay, we could try and get you a new loyal husband and, and I want people to worship me yeah I mean when you're a god it's very oh. easy to get people to worship you but yeah uh, if you if you if you I know but from demoness to god it's a possible you just need to achieve enlightenment yes <laughs> you just need to behave godly and do godly good things and people will worship you out of out of love and gratitude and and that will feel nice for you too it worked for Vajrapani oh Huh? Oh, one of the other celestial dharma protectors. Oh. Anyway, so here's the deal. 
you bring me the fox spirit alive, you make me a god. Master, no more use for these. Movies. At what point is it gonna? Ah. Oh. And then I will put out the flames for you. And I will have no more use for these minions because I will be adored and worshipped as a god. How about you put out the flames and we don't tell the Jade Emperor what you're doing? No, we can tell him all you like. What will he do? Uh, usually he shows up with the entire court and then spends 500 years trying to kill you. Trust me, I know this. I've been through this, Iron Fan. You don't want to no, go no. through this. She no, 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 no killing is needed. We, we, well, well, no, they didn't kill me, do. obviously, Master, because no one can kill me. That's the whole point. Well, Monk, what is your answer? Will you agree to talk with the Jade Princess? Oh, sorry, for the, with the fox spirit. Oh, sure. Tell her to it's put so out the flames there. now before we make any deals. Please, Master. And you will put out the flames and then free the villagers and, and not take any more children? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And you will make me a god and I will be worshipped. Can oh, we yes. do an inside check on... Yeah, I was She's lying. Uh, She's a demon. <clears throat> okay. Somebody may inside check. I got plus six. Anyone? I mean, the spider lady... I got plus through. nine. Okay, go, horsey. Go, horsey. Wait, I, I, yeah, okay, go. Assistance. Uh, Can I try also? I am also a plus. No, I also have the emboldening bond, right? Uh, Unless we have been talking too yeah, long. Yeah, you do it. Um, I have in total 23. Wow. So, if you are able to fulfill the terms, she's willing to match her part of the bargain. Which is the talking and not the killing. Bring her the fox spirit alive. Make her worshipped as a god. So the killing is not part of the thing yet. She doesn't care right now about the killing. Okay. Sounds like a good first step. Wow. We're never getting to Vulture Peak. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that the deal? Monk? We all look at Shifu. Yeah. Yes. At which point it zooms out and then Peng Ta turns to <laughs> Ooh, and says, Really? Yeah. Should we talk about say yes to this deal? No, I don't think so. Or this is something uh, this is not very canon. Oh. I don't really understand. Maybe uh, that they want us to throw more money at them. What actually happens at that point is that uh, Monkey, because she's distracted, strings himself into the size of a fly and then jumps into her mouth and then starts beating her insides. And she's in such great pain that she says, fine, fine, I'll put out the flames. Just take my fan and put it out and put out the flames. And this is all happening on the public stage. So she shrinks the fan so it's light enough for Monkey to carry. Monkey takes it, goes out, he fans the flames. And what happens next is that the flames intensify. Oh my god. And the flames reach the village and it's about to absolutely burn to a crisp oh when no. Monkey goes back to her and says, bitch, give me back the right fan. Right? And then that's where I'm going to leave it as a cliffhanger. Because we're out of time, and I'd like to thank everyone. I'm sorry we're at the end of that. It's 10 o'clock. Thank you, everyone, for playing. What happens at the very end of that is that Heng Ta and uh, Wu are watch, staring at it. Oh, another cliffhanger. Wow, these uh, actors very greedy. Yeah? Yeah. Every time they perform, we have to give them more money. <laughs> and in the world of the story, is you see the five characters. It's Min, Ama, Han, Siu, and Wu, and Heng Ta behind them, standing there, staring at the wall of flame that's coming towards the village and thinking, okay, what do we do now? And on the puppet stage, it's the puppet master standing on the troop taking a bow and everyone applauding. Oh, so we're trapped in the world of the story. And then, as they take a bow, a curtain falls. And when it opens again, 
It's Min opening her eyes and looking up. Hmm? Yeah, she takes over the next part of the story. Thank you, everyone, hey, for watching hey, Midweek hey, Man hey. AM. Woo. So with me tonight has been S. Shribitaka, Lisa Yo. Yay. 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 S. Monkey, Ramji. As Horsey Hans. <laughs> as Sudi Sheena. And as Pixie Joe. And I've been Ed, your game master who does not believe in putting figures on a battle map. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. And see us next Monday where we start at 7 p.m. Singapore time for our normal T4C adventure with Survey Team 3. Thank you for joining Yay. us, everyone. Next Yay. week, when we do this next Wednesday, it's going to be Lisa's first uh, adventure. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. So that's all very exciting stuff for next week. Yep. Yeah. So thank you very much, Ed. Thank you very much, everybody that's tuned in to watch. Thank you all for the followers. We're at 996 followers. That's exciting. Oh, oh wow. Um, and so, yeah. So thanks. Um, uh, thanks for everyone that dropped by to watch um, the continuation and the f- finishing of uh, Journey to the West. I just want to say that for those of you who want to see what happens next, go read the story. It's crazy. What, mo- what monkey does next will shock you. <laughs> Literally. I, I mean it. Feed him. But, but, yeah. Read the Princess Iron Fan story because what Monkey does next is completely that shit insane. Yeah. Cool. All right. Thank you, everyone, and see you on Monday. Have a great week ahead. So we'll play out. See you guys. Bye. uh, Yeah. Behold thine heroes as they observeth the troubled land, some stormy sea. They have no choice, it's national service for Marabanda survey team three. A goblin captain, see elven cleric, one small and green, one tall and blue, stoned halfling monk and bard who dedicates its camp. Transatlantic, actually.